Welcome back everybody to Wildflowers, and today, guess what? Yes, we are gonna be going to summer. We're gonna be learning what summer is all about and what that brings to us here in Fairhaven. So bring the spirit flame potion to high priests. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do it right away after I collect my wheat. I get my wheat. Yes, thank you, thank you. I get my wheat. <clears throat> I do a little bit of this, and then I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to fully send it to summer. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be great. Okay. Let's pet the cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, kitty cat. How are you? There you are. I do apologize. I know. I started this stream. The stream was actually scheduled for 1230, and I started it 30 minutes early. My bad. Um, I totally forgot that my stream earlier today was shorter than usual because it was the sponsored stream but um yeah so I'm, I'm starting like 30 minutes early hopefully nobody minds <laughs> other than that um let's see here let's see I, I think i oh yeah i gotta get the chicken gotta get the chicken the chicken's gotta get chickened out we'll give the chicken chicken and we actually need to buy feed for the chicken as well hey chelsea how you doing chelsea chelsea says uh glad i could tune in this today i live in florida so i've spent yesterday and today hurricane prepping so i'm ready or so i'm happy for a break that we have a lot of we have a lot of people in florida in this community and it's 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 kind of scary to uh you know the 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 hurricane that is coming i hope you stay safe and i hope you i hope nothing too serious hits where you live how you doing ainworth good to see you, ainworth how's it going Hey, Neon Llamas. Hey, Pamela. How you doing? Hey, Glory Stars. Uh, yeah, so I guess we just wait for the night. Yeah, so we'll wait for the nighttime. I guess what we could do... We could do something with the wheat that we have. Yeah, we could definitely do something with the wheat. Let me go to the kitchen real quick. I'm going to go to the kitchen and see if I have any potential. Yes, flour, actually. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm stuck trying to get to mine level four any tips um so you're what so what you're on level three right now i mean the only tip i would really really give you is just keep mining and eventually you'll get the key <laughs> and then you can go to the next level yeah here we go we'll do this let me make some flour hey susan how you doing susan game station how's it going there's our beeswax love to see that throwing another one there there we go cool 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 go downstairs real quick i love the speed boost i am um, I'm a sucker for love and I'm a sucker for the speed boost. Yeah. You can't find the key. Uh, it, it's it's in... The, it, it's all RNG, right? It's totally RNG. So you got to hope that you find it uh, within the rocks, right? Um, yeah, so flower. One wheat gives us three flowers. Is that what that does? It does. Uh-huh. Interesting. Okay, nice. We can make a lot of flour if we want to then. I'm kind of tempted to just make all flour. I just made all flour. Yeah. That's going to help with our cooking in the future anyways, right? Yeah. Very good. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we have so many good stuff. Fish fingers. People were talking about fish fingers all yes, not yesterday. The last time we played. Fish fingers is good uh, for money. So here we are doing a little bit of this. Sturgeon, sign me up flounder now with the flounder though hang on a sec the flounder i can make the um the fried flounder sandwich yes all i need to do is have bread and animal fat and i need yeast to make bread very good <clears throat> cool 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 miss purple how you doing miss purple first time catching alive well this is my first time saying hello to you well how you doing how's it going Hey, Amy. Amy says, hey, hope you and Dunya are well. Loving this game so far? Very well. We are doing good. And yeah, this game is pretty fun. I like this game a lot. I do. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just tired. I didn't sleep much last night. Why not? Um, should you be at work then? Maybe you should go home and get some rest. Oh, I don't sleep much any night. Can't turn off my brain. Same, dude. I'm getting used to being a semi-zombie most days. Same. Um, But that's, that's always been the case. Good to see you, Francis, I guess. Yeah. Yesterday, halfway through the potion permit stream, I fell asleep and missed half the stream in Slime Ranch. 
but I watched it off stream. Very good. Very good. Well, I appreciate that. There we go. Hello. The place I came from before this was much bigger. It takes some getting used to. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, your name is Danielle, too. Oh, fantastic. Well, very well. That's very good. Oh, there he is again. He's in here again. Hello, Marty. He's got a big nose on him, doesn't he? Did you know hey, pirate. Cows can eat up to 24 pounds of hay a day? Ah, oh, nature. That is crazy. And expensive. So cows can eat 24 pounds of hay a day? Why my guinea pigs eat 23 pounds of hay per day? Yeah, that, that's what we're working with here. Hey, Amira. How are you? Hi, Amira. Oh, isn't it gorgeous today? Oh, no. Don't say that. What? Why? Because every time I get excited about nice weather, Kai comes moping into my office with a cut or a knee injury. One of these days, I am going to wrap that man in protective foam. Okay. Uh, all right, well then, F it. It's not a beautiful day today. Oh, very much so. Hey, Dixie Trick, how you doing? He doesn't have a nose, he has a beak. <laughs> Hello, Lisa. Hey, Parker. Hey there, little miss. Is little miss. everything okay, Parker? You've known Lena for a long time, uh -oh. right? Only a little from when we were kids. But we didn't see each other for many years. Why? Oh, nothing. It's funny. Even after 10 years together, it feels like there are so many things about her I don't yet understand. Oh, crap. What the heck is happening with you and Lena? Oh, my lord. My good man. You would be up to, um... To upgrade this, yeah? Oh, no. I'm doing good. I'm doing good as well. <laughs> I'm so anxious. I am. I'm very anxious. I'm over here. I'm over here, like, sniffing out the forest. I'm like, let's go. Let's have nighttime come so then I can uh, get this uh, potion spirit going or the spirit of the flame or something like that. Yeah. Lena's part of the coven for sure. You'll ah, this there you go. A special place. We've all got to work together to take care of it. Yeah, there's probably things that Parker's like, there's things about her that I just don't know. You know, she leaves every night. Every night she leaves the house late at night and she doesn't come back home until five in the morning. Wonder what she's doing. Finding your way here on the island? Yes. Well, the longer I'm here, the more it feels like coming home. Sometimes I'll turn a corner and I'll be hit by some memory from when I was a kid. Like making sandcastles at the beach with Grandpa. <sighs> Memories funny like that. You're lucky to have such ties to this place. It's special. All right, my good man. How do you do? And do you want anything? I have a few mushrooms for you. I do this strictly based off of just giving you some nice uh, welfare. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you go, Shelby. I'm very torn, though. I'm still very torn on who I would like to romance in this game. Not really sure. I don't want to romance Cameron. I don't want to romance Kai that much either because he's just like la 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 la. Damon was strong candidate. Then he started saying some stuff and I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you? Um, Amira was a candidate, but at the same time, she started like saying some weird stuff as well. <laughs> like, uh, like kind of almost borderline, like get around kind of, kind of, kind of things, you know, like she was... Like drama, I guess. Like maybe drama is the word I'm searching for with uh, with Amira. She seems kind of drama heavy. Damon really just calls me bro all the time. Or bra. And then he doesn't believe in like giving flowers to a girl. So, I mean... He never did. Hello, Thomas. Good thing you learned how to fish from Bruno. When I was a kid, the fisheries were focused on getting bigger and bigger. When they got too big, they went out of business. Bruno never did that. He fished as much as he needed. No more. 
Yeah, I I agree. I I I like Violet a lot too. It is it is it is a crime that she is not a uh, she's not a candidate either. She probably would have been my first choice. I hate myself right now because all of a sudden I'm craving a poutine and chicken finger figure fingers with gravy, but I need to save money till Thursday. Oh, hello. Oh, there is Kim. I forgot about Kim. There's Kim too. I think Kim would be like a sugar mama, low key. I love for hey, Fane. Spring, but the woods here creep me out, to be honest. Yeah, we'll see what Kai has to say. He's been saying the same stuff recently. Thomas gets a bad rap for being kind of anti-social, but he's cool. He never minds if I cut through his place on my way to the beach. Oh, right. You conversation setter right there, Kai. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the forest now. Hype over this game from a rainy Sweden. From a rainy Sweden. Love to hear that. Hey, Michelle. I'm almost certain that every old man that live in a humble city, uh, from away from a humble city, is a rich guy that retired to the countryside. All right, watch—they're gonna show up in the brooms here in a sec, and this is it. Summer is is upon us now. Do not know what happens if once summer does arrive, will Grandma pass? I don't know. She's not looking good. She's in a very fragile state as is. Hello, everybody. Hi, Priestess. Sign me up. I brought the spirit flame potion. Well done. Be aware that the crops that thrive in spring will wilt under the summer sun. This is Lena. It's best you finish any tasks that still need to be done. Now, are you ready to say goodbye to spring? I am. I have got my crops. I am ready to go. Let's send it. Yes, I am ready for some summer sun. Wonderful. Let us begin. Take your place in the circle. Oh. And so we begin the turning of the seasons, just as our ancestors have done for thousands of years. Novice, pour the spirit flame into the fire. We say goodbye to the gentle sun of spring. We welcome the golden dawn of summer. Um, yes, we turn the seasons, like they said. Who was that? Wait, time out. Who was that? It was like somebody in silver robes. Was that? Oh. Uh oh. A honeybee. Oh no. You're here. I am. Of I am, Grandma. For a moment, I thought you were Robert coming to collect me. I, I felt a warm breeze. Yes, we turn the seasons. That's all. <laughs> still a skeptic, I see. But there is still so much you haven't seen. Still so much to learn and do. Oh, I've done my best to take care of Violet since her mother disappeared. Don't worry. I promise I'll be here for her. Everybody look away. You will, sweetheart. You're going to do great. I'm proud of you. I'm so glad you came back to see me. <sighs> me too. I just wish we had more time. Oh, look away. <laughs> time enough. We've learned how to run the farm. I'll take good care of it for you. And I know you can bring the community and the coven together. Promise me. 
You'll remember everything I've taught you. I promise. You will be a marvelous witch. I can already see your powers blooming. It's time for me to rest. Take care, my beautiful little honeybee. Oh, right there. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that that was the tear maker right there. Hi, Grandma Hazel. I'll take up your mantle and protect the town. You can rest now. Oh, Shelby's hey. upset. We say goodbye to one of this town's finest citizens, Hazel Wild. Her dear friend Lena is going to say a few words. Hazel was my mentor. Yes. But she was more than that. She was always giving advice, a bowl of soup, a basket of fresh eggs. She never, ever gave up on those she loved. And she loved this island more than anything. And now she's given us Tara. Oh, we are so glad you're here. It means Hazel hasn't really left us. Thanks, Lena. Hello. You're Hazel's granddaughter? Uh, who are you? I'm Wesley. I've never seen you around before. Oh, I, I don't live in Fairhaven. Oh, I see. So you came over on the ferry from Milkwater. Well, thanks for taking the time to come all that way. Um, of course. Yo. I wanted to come pay my respects. Hazel was a wonderful friend. Oh, um, and I uh, have this for you. I run a rare bookshop, you see. Hazel had me fix the binding on this old family heirloom. I know she would have wanted you to have it. Oh, th th thank you so much. Well, I man's got know. fangs. Nice to meet you, Tara. Nice to meet you too. Wait. Wow. That's not the way to the ferry. All right, so a lot just happened. Um, yeah. First of all, the part where it, Grandma said. My sweet old honeybee. That was the tear maker right there. 100%. Hey, Donna, how you doing? Uh, hey, sweet potato. Uh, mama. Uh, Silent Echo says, I finally made it to the live. Love your videos and plan on becoming a member on payday. Thank you for many hours of entertainment for my daughter and I. Oh, big shout to you. Big shout to you and your daughter. I appreciate that. Hey, Joanna, how you doing? Hey, Rebel Marie. Donna, Donna. Chris Shetton, how you doing, Chris? From Spain, from Spain, hey. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. So he got, not given, how you doing? Like, the man's got pointy teeth. Now, there's no music right now. Maybe because it's, uh, it's sad time. Um, but let's talk to everybody. Hello? Hi. I've been meaning to stop by, but I, I didn't want to intrude. Oh, my heart goes out to you. Hazel was a truly decent person. Strong, too. I see a lot of her in you. Thanks. Made you something. Of course, I'm not much of a cook, but I can keep a fire lit under a pot at least. Two pumpkin soups. Oh, very well. Very, very well. <sighs> this is... I just can't believe Hazel's really gone. Unfortunate. Since my dad moved away for work, things got lonely. Hazel was there for us. She made me feel like everything was going to be okay. I wish I could have done more to help her. If only we had more time. There's nothing anyone could have done. Don't blame yourself. Take care of yourself. There are people here who will help you. We need to stick together. Thanks. Love that. Damon? Look, I'm really sorry to hear about Hazel. This is a tough deal. Thanks. I'm not great at these situations. Um, let me... Know when you're feeling better? Appreciate that, Damon. Hey, Joanna, love to be a member. I'm addicted to this game. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you for re-upping your membership for two months. Thank you very much. Kim? I didn't really know Hazel, but I can tell from the way people speak about her that she was special. Thanks. She was. Have you had anything to eat today? Would you like something to take home? That would be lovely. Two beefs. Okay, very cool. Bruno. Look, Tara. 
I'm real sorry about Hazel. She was a special lady. I'll be sure to raise a glass to her at the bar. Cheers. Cheers indeed. Violet? No, this isn't Violet. Uh, sorry about you, Juliet. Graham. My dad said those we've lost never really leave us. I don't think it's true, though. He feels pretty gone to me. Interesting thing to say. Okay. Hello, Angus. Angel was a special lady and one heck of a good baker. Oh, I'm going to miss her. She would have wanted me to make sure that you're well fed, so... Here, try some of this. Thanks, Angus. You know how to hit me there, Angus. Two cornbread. Absolutely love that. He looks sad. My deepest sympathies for the loss of your grandmother. Thank you. I don't think she ever voted for me. But that's not what matters now. You no doubt have a lot on your mind, but I need to tell you that your grandmother left everything to you. The farm, the house, all of her possessions are yours now. She did? <sighs> Thanks for letting me know. I know you're still processing these sorrowful events, but I fervently hope that you will decide to stay. This guy is ridiculous. I try to stick up for you, Otto. I do. Last stream, I tried every angle. Every angle to paint you to be a good guy. Now look what you're doing. You just, you, you, you can't get over it. You gotta have control. You gotta have power. I only knew your abuela a short while. But she was a lovely person. I'm so sorry. Thanks. Look, honey, if you have an heirloom you want me to adjust for you, I'm happy to do it. Free of charge. Oh, that's very kind of you. Hey, Mini Queenie. Queenie, how you doing, Mini Queenie? I am grateful that Hazel was still her same fiery self right until the end. My father isn't so fortunate. Oh, Tara, I'm so sorry. How stupid of me. I can't imagine how you must feel. It's okay. I'll miss her. She was a wonderful mentor and a steadfast friend. Very much so. Is this game better than Dinkum? They're two different games. <laughs> There's no comparison. In times of loss, it can be tempting to wallow in grief. But I don't think that's what your grandmother would have wanted for you. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that is a really good point. Come by the Consciousness Center anytime. We're here to help. I don't know about that. I know what it's like to lose someone you were close to. A kind word would have meant a great deal to me then. You have my sympathies. Thanks, Vanessa. She's better at it, but like your husband, like, come on now. Your husband is worried about the vote. Wait a sec. Whoa, whoa, Sophia. We didn't talk to Sophia. Sophia, hang on. Sophia, hang on, hang on. I am so sorry about your grandma. She used to joke I would have to fry her secret cookie recipe from her cold, dead hands. <laughs> but I thought that's just Hazel being Hazel, you know? <laughs> Oh, she's torn. Hey, I'm fine, really. You're being so brave. She would have been very proud. Thanks. Wow. Thomas? Amira? Hazel was ready. She knew it was her time, but it's still all right to be upset and to mourn her. You deserve that space for yourself. It's kind of hard to do. Uh, Marty, uh, anything. Thomas has nothing to say. Marty has nothing to say. Nothing at all. Dang. Well, uh, it, ladies and gentlemen, it's summer. It is summer. Um, for what it's worth. <laughs> Maybe buy some crops. Yeah. Let's see what we have for summer. Let's let's get a head start, shall we? Corn seeds, yeah. Give me um. Oh my God, don't give me ten. Uh, back that down a little bit, please, and thank you. 
Uh, give me five. Give me some hops, because we're going to start brewing some, uh, some ale, some alcoholic beverages. Strawberry seeds, give me five of those. Sugarcane seeds, uh, give me five of those as well. Tomato seeds, give me five of those as well. All right, well, now we have a plan. We have a vision, we have a plan. Uh, let's go ahead and head back to the farm. Let's plant some things, get a head start on summer, and then we'll go that way. This game does have a great story. Yeah, it does. The game's growing on you. I like the story. She was ready in the town. D doctor only visited her once. I know, right? Well, the, the, okay, so the, the town the town doctor, Amira, only visited her once, but she did admit, like, she did admit, like, there was nothing that she could do for her, right? And Grandma said, you know, I know I, I didn't, I didn't want Amira c to come because uh, she didn't want anything. Amira wanted to... wanted to help her and wanted to take her to specialists and wanted to give her medicine and wanted to do this and that and that and this and, and grandma just flat out refused yeah she just refused let's go uh strawberry i need flowers f Um, I'm thinking about putting in the hops. I'm going to go one of each right now is fine, I think. And then I didn't get, I didn't see any flower seeds. Maybe that's just my fault. We'll go hops. We'll do one of each. Yeah, we'll do one of each. You know what? I should probably go see if there is flowers. Yeah. Let me go see if there is flowers just in case. Cause I really do not want to, uh, uh, kind of like I don't want to I don't want to miss the opportunity to grow the flowers for the um oh the flower seeds are at violets okay good shout good shout <laughs> emotional twist the first oh my yes 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 sign me up thank you Love it. My favorite flower, the sunflower. Love it. I like the subtle detail of the characters still having the sad face when you do the interaction with, the, with them. I don't The animation is pretty good, yeah? It is pretty good. And we do have something in the mail here. I'll, I'll check that here in a sec, but let me grow this stuff first. I guess one thing I could do is definitely like start getting more. We're gonna build a giant uh, farm crop area this season, anyways. Go. Hey, Dragon Owl. Dragon Owl says, Dra popping in to say hi. Not feeling so good. So going back to bed. Okay, very well. I hope you get better, Dragon Owl. And I'm glad you stopped in and said hello. Right, let's see here. Constituents, constitu, constituents name here. You are cordially invited to attend the annual Fairhaven Summer Festival. It's in just a few weeks. Hope to see you there. Sincerely, Mayor Otto Soft. The festival starts in 15 more days. Okay. Do we get to, like, put any crops in or maybe do something in that regard? Like, uh, that's, has that always been there, that little pot? Do we get to do anything special like that? We need to get, um, yeah, we need to get, uh, this going on. We need to get more feed. Yeah, I, I do plan on upgrading the field. Yep, yep. Chicken feather. Pancho with the chicken feather. Hey, Susie T. Looks like I missed the sad part. I'm glad about that. <laughs> oh, give me that, though. 
Now there is subtle changes, right, to the seasons changing, especially like like around town, maybe, or like just the way that the place looks. Now, hang on, why is your tail straight out? Don't put your tail straight out. What's today? Thursday through Saturday. Today is a Friday, so you are closed today. You're closed tomorrow too. How am I supposed to feed my chicken? Why is all the, the animals look frozen? Oh my lord. <laughs> All right. Well, then. Sai. Hey, Sai. Sai says, uh, coming here from the Dinkum streams. Haven't caught up yet, but had to say love your content. Appreciate that, Sai. And you got a lot of Dinkum there. You got a lot of hours of Dinkum, and I hope you enjoy that. John, hey John, John says, just purchased it this morning. Can't wait to play it after work. Oh, very well. Very good. Jayfield says, hi, uh, this lurker finally joined. Very good. How, how you doing, Jayfield? Says, love your play style, and it's nice to see games I may not have heard of. Thank you. No problem. No problem. I'm glad that I can uh, bring these games to you. Hello, Kai. I, I'm afraid... I'm seriously bummed on your behalf. This is just really heavy, bra. Thanks, Kai. Stop with the bra! Today, when I paddle out, I'm gonna catch a bomb just for Hazel. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure that would have meant a lot to her. Enough with the bra, dude. Damon! You sell anything different? No, you don't sell anything different here. <laughs> Okay, very well. I gotta get his uh, shop upgraded and everything. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Everything good? Everybody good? Parker? Did we talk? I can't remember. I think we my did. My own grandma helped raise me while my parents were working night shifts in the city. I miss her every day. My heart goes out to you. Thank you. And sorry about your grandma. Cameron says we just have to work to live up to their hopes for us. I'll try. That's a very good point. Most farming games start with the funeral already passed. Yeah, that's a very good point. I gotta make more of my uh, my spells. I put off change in the season as I suspected what was gonna happen next. Y you just you just know, right? It's just one of those things. Like, yeah, once you change the season, it's gonna happen, right? It's definitely gonna happen. There's the animals frozen again. Hey, Leo, I missed like two streams of this game and come back to grandma dying. I know, right? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. The, the saddest part was when she said, my sweet old honey bee. That was probably the saddest part of it all. Anything going on down here? Any fish? Now, I don't know if there's going to be different kinds of fish because it's a different season, but I am uh, curious in this regard. I like how their expression is still sad even in the shop interaction. The attention to detail. Yeah, this this game has very good um, attention to detail. Some of the things that I like to see in this game too is um, <clears throat> is that when you talk to like the shop owners, they'll have like a picture of their family like behind the counter and stuff like that. And you can see the different different characters. You know, they have like pictures in their offices or whatever it might be. Very good attention to detail in that regard too. What is that? A poppy flower. Oh, a poppy flower. Very well, very well. I think those animals think it's winter because they are frozen. I know, right? <laughs> I wonder if they'll uh, reset tomorrow. I don't know what the, what I'm gonna do. I, I can't. I can't do anything about the chickens. I can't or the chicken. I can't really. Um, I can't feed the chicken tomorrow. I have no feed, and the shop's gonna be closed tomorrow for chicken feeds. So that's a little bit of a. Sad thing. Uh oh. Finally, a moment to myself. Oh, she's gonna sleep. Now I can look at that book that um that man, Wesley, gave me. Huh. Looks like a journal. Grandma's journal. <sighs> this is her handwriting. On the front flap, it says, "To my dear niece, to record thoughts both mundane and magical." Vivian. 
Vivian was Grandma's aunt. She must have been a witch, too. Here's the first entry. Today's chores took me through the portal, where I spoke at length with the fairies. Did she write fairies? Maybe I'm misreading the writing. Or maybe there's even more to discover on this island than I realized. Task complete. You've been rewarded with increased energy spell and a cauldron recipe. Increase energy spell and incantation to permanently increase your energy bar. That's the greatest news we've had this entire series so far. Incredible. That's awesome. Dullness binds my body tightly. Awaken me and make me sprightly. Cauldron can now be constructed in your basement. So there we go. We actually have our energy bar even higher now. Very cool. This is the first time that we're going to be sleeping in the house without grandma. Now, wait a sec. I guess it's you can make an additional, right? An additional. Yeah, you can make an additional cauldron. Yeah, two cauldrons. Interesting. All right, well. More energy for us. That's a good thing. I will not sleep in grandma's bed. That is for grandma. <laughs> is it time for bed? It is time for bed. It's midnight, girl. <sighs> I think it's a mannequin. <laughs> okay. All right. Do I have a chicken feed recipe? Let's see. Would I get it through here? Or would I get it through one of my uh, other things? Yeah? Through like my, uh, what is it? The, um, oh no. This? Question mark? Flower? No, not that. This is essence. This is something else. But I do want to get this. What do I need for this? I need paper. I need more paper. We got to get some paper. Extra cauldron, cauldron to keep potions going. Okay, that's what that exactly what it, that is. Oh God, Thomas is here. Hello, Thomas. Get some beeswax. There we go. Um, a bunch of things that we have not done yet is this. We have the paper press. We have the candle maker. I would like to get a juice press in. Um, I would like to get all these stuff eventually, and this would I would love to get too as well. Um, and a butter churn as well. So we're going to probably want to expand this workshop sometime today, or not today, but at least, well, today as in today's stream, not today in today's game. I'm going to make one of those. I should have maybe made two of those, huh? Now thinking about it, probably. F. There we go. Hey, Millie, how you doing? In your basement for the chicken feed? Is that what it is? Maybe here? You're going to start your game and see where you saw that? <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. How to sleep without a blanket on? Hi, Thomas. Is this cotton? <laughs> your grandma, she was strange for sure. But she had respect for the land. Our families were close and Hazel was special. <laughs> Yeah, she was. She always wanted you to love this place as much as she did. So, I'm going to teach you farming. Let's do it, dude. For her. I'm not a farmer. How exciting if I must? No, no, no. We're excited about it. Great. When do we start? Right now's as good a time as any. Take these cotton seeds and plant them. But you better plant them quick. They take a while to grow and they only grow in summer. You can buy more cotton seed from me and a few other things if you need. You can grow this cotton and turn it into cloth. That makes a bit of money. Dyed cloth is even better. Come see me when you're ready to learn about making cloth. Very well. Um, I did uh, already um, plant some seeds, but that's fine. Excited for summer, Thomas? Well... It brings its own challenges. My mom taught me to use trees to shade your crops, especially in summer. So I've been checking in with every tree, having a little chat, making sure they're healthy. Very good. 
It was flower, not chicken feet. That's all okay. That's all right. What I can do is I can actually make another garden bed and I can slide that bad boy right there. That's exactly what we will do. And then we will throw in our cotton right there. Two. There we go. How long will this take? I didn't see. Seven days. I mean, I, get, I could boost it, but seven days. Very well. All right. Let's go pet the cat, shall we? Hello, kitty cat. What's new, pussy cat? Da 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 da. Oh, such a good cat. That is a very good cat. Got a chub from the cat. Still gonna give the cat like a tuna or, or a salmon or something like that, right? We have no chicken feed today to feed the chicken, but at least one thing we can do is uh, pet the chicken, and hopefully the chicken uh, forgives us. Don't worry, chicken. We will give you um, some feed tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. You have a lot of garden beds, I know, right? <laughs> okay. Let's see. We want to uh, get a bigger garden plot. So I want to see what it takes and how much it's going to cost for us to get a new garden plot plot area i think it's gonna cost a thousand maybe two thousand dollars possibly oh he's not open yet let's go see if there's any new things in the forest that we can harvest um forgeable items maybe because it's summer you know like the poppy seeds or whatever it might be oh kim's out here what are you doing i've never seen you out here kim i don't think maybe i have hello don't get me wrong i'm excited for the summer festival but it also seems <sighs> Quaint, you know? I went to plenty of block parties in the city. Nobody says anything about pleasing the fairies at block parties. Is there a mill? I, I'm not sure if there's a mill. There we go. Oh, hello, Parker. Oh. Hi, Parker. Chopping down some wood? No. I've been coming by the woods every so often to see if my favorite flowering tree has bloomed yet. When I was a kid in the city, there was only one tree on our block in front of my neighbor Miss Lovitz's house. It used to bloom pink petals once a year. It was like a miracle on that drab block. I gotta say, I don't miss that concrete jungle at all. I used to dream of Grandma's farm. I grew up by a public park. I miss the city. Um, oh, Grandma's farm. I can relate. I feel like when I was a kid. I used to dream all year of getting to come to Grandma's farm in the summer. <laughs> you were a lucky kid to get that break in nature. I've only ever heard good things about your grandpa, too. I bet it was nice having that time with him. I went back home one winter, and Miss Lovitz's house was gone and replaced by a new condo building. They took the tree out, too. See, in winter, it didn't look like much, just some spindly branches. But nothing can be in full bloom all the time, can it? Otherwise, you wouldn't appreciate it. I guess that's true. Take it easy, Tara. <laughs> Parker, how are you and your wife? Are you, are you guys all right? You good? You got? You guys good over there? Hey, Shelby. Your grandma knew you would come back to take care of her in the end. She did. Oh well, yeah, I told her. I don't get it. <laughs> nah, you sure don't. You're well. Thank you, Shelby. <clears throat> Okay. Um, yeah, so anyways, I want to talk to Parker and, and know how much I need for my garden plot. Come on, Parker. Time to, I'll walk you to, uh, to your shop. Unless you're closed on a Saturday, which you are probably closed on a Saturday, which, god damn, you're closed on a Saturday. Ah, the timing is just incredible here. We have been just incredible timing. The chicken feed. The Oh, hello, Vanessa. How are you? Last year, the Fairhaven Summer Festival was included on a list of the best summer activities in the region. Mm. Of course, we were at the bottom of the list, but maybe now that you're here, we'll be at the top. Okay. Uh, Mr. Otto, what do you have for me, good man? Ho there! As you may have heard, we have a little tradition every summer here in Fairhaven. Yes, the uh, Summer Festival. I know. Well, you're right on top of things, aren't you? I like that in a citizen. Thank you. Which I could use some help. I was waiting. No, thank you. With my speech, 
The peak of summer is everyone's favorite time of year, and I want to capitalize on that goodwill. Please, no. I should talk about history, unity, or the future. Uh, this, this is, this is a ridiculous question. Unity. I think you should talk about bringing the community together. Yes, that's what I'll do. Well, I better get to writing my speech. Why do you have to yell, my man? <laughs> Vanessa ran the summer festival last year. Sophia certainly has a big act to follow, but I'm sure she'll do fine. That guy, dude, that guy. Usually mayors in towns, like, sorry, mayors in games like this. I mean, let's be fair here. We really haven't had, like, really a lot of voice acting farm type farm life games, huh? So I guess we make up voices in our head with other games with the mayors. Maybe most of them are supposed to be arrogant and obnoxious like him. Looking forward to some time off this summer, Amira? <laughs> Warm weather means people who have been inside for months will suddenly attempt outdoor activities. I'll be setting sprained ankles all summer. Who goes to the doctor for a sprained ankle? I guess people that have good health coverage. Hello, Damon. Heard uh, Thomas is helping Sophia with the summer festival. Huh? Wait, you think Thomas and Sophia? Hey. You didn't hear it from me, but my pa used to say, love is like the wind. You can't see it, but you can feel it. Thomas and Sophia, that's a spicy little, little, little giddy up there. Sorry to interrupt your uh, festivities. Oh, I love summer rain. It starts and stops so fast, but it's still really intense when it's happening. I wish I could draw it, but drawing rain is really hard. Drawing rain is really hard. I would have to agree with you on that one. What do these kids have? Lemonade? Lemonade? Tara! 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 Did something happen? We want to build a lemonade stand. That's what happened. Mommy said she would help us with the lemons, and Daddy said he would help us build a stand. But we still need the wood for the stand. And some sugar. <laughs> I got sugar cane going, that. dude. Plus, if you help us, we'll give you a lemonade discount. So you'll be like an investor. You can see long-term returns. I'm yes. I'm reading a book that Daddy bought. He said it was boring. But Amy doesn't think it's boring. What kind of returns? What kind of long-term returns are we talking here? Uh, I don't know. I haven't gotten to that chapter yet. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. Whee! Endless lemonade! Oh, they love it. We got the wood, we just don't got the sugar. I mean, we could buy the sugar if we wanted to. Or I think we could probably grow it ourselves with the sugar cane. But that's exciting. The mayor in my time at Porsche, his heart was in the right place. My time at Porsche, mayor. Versus my time at Sandrock, mayor. My time at Sandrock Mayor. I couldn't I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. That guy. You are a lifesaver. Now the twins have something to occupy themselves with outside of school. Except The music's bumping now. He keeps asking me about stock options. And Finn keeps asking what would happen if you put ketchup in lemonade. <laughs> Alright. Very much so. Uh, how much would sugar cost? 30 a piece. Yeah. No, thank you. I will, I will, I will do that on my own, please. Ooh. Yeah, the voice actors do a pretty good job, right? Absolutely. Gotta respect that. I need to go back to my... Uh, into back into Porsche, I I bought it in Sandrock pretty close together, so I got into Sand Sandrock more. If you played Sandrock before Porsche, you're gonna miss some of the features in Sandrock. Um, when you play Porsche, there's like a couple of features in Porsche where it's like, err, like quality of life kind of stuff, like the sorting of the inventory type thing. Not for free, just at a discount. How you doing, Sean? 
I spent 1,200 hours playing my time at Porsche. Good God Almighty. Did you play any modded Porsche? Juliet says I spend too much time at the cemetery, but I find it comforting. If you ever want company when you go to visit Hazel, let me know. Thanks. I will. How does my time at Porsche compare to Wildflowers? They're different. They are different. Um, I, I don't think I could compare it either. <clears throat> no modding and you put 1,200. Damn! Yeah, I don't think I could compare uh, my time at Porsche and Wildflowers. Just because there's like combat, you know, a combat system in that game. And there's no choice of like peaceful mode or anything like that. Oh, yep. A herring. Very good. What I should do is I should make another cauldron and I should uh, make these um, fast growing potions right now. That's what I should be doing. A soul? Let me take your soul. Her soul was so pure. Her soul was so soft. Her soul was so rough. Her soul was so scaly. Okay, let's make some uh, potions, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was told, I don't know if, it, you know, I haven't dug my, I haven't done my research or anything on it, but I was told the voice actors in uh, my time at Portia were treated very poorly. So I don't know about that. But the voice acting in uh, my time in Sandrock was, was done pretty well. I remember somebody uh, telling me they were not, they weren't going to support my time at Sandrock because of how the, I guess the company treated voice actors in my time at Porsche, but I was unaware of any of that stuff. Marrow could grow. Wait, what's better? Boost harvest? No, that's a yield, right? Apply this potion to plants to get more produce. Yes, more produce. And then this is the speed up their growth. Yes. Make another cauldron, yeah? Oh my god, I need five iron ingots and $500. My lord. Hey, Gavin, how you doing? I'm looking for a game with a with a good story like um, my time at Sandrock is a pretty good story. A um, lot of interesting characters. Very good story. Um, and the thing about it right now with my time at Sandrock is uh, it's in early access. So they are con they are going to they add more content every few months and they're adding more to the story um, as well with the updates going out with that. We got to a point where we played so much of um, my time at Sandrock during the story that we completed the storyline up until the point. And they're like, come back later. We're going to add more to the story type thing. So if you if you are interested in like a game like that, where you can really follow the, the development, uh, development cycle, I guess, of that game. Right now is a good time to get into my time, my time at Sandrock. But the characters in that are very interesting. And uh, recently, they actually just... Um, that's, I think they... Or maybe they're doing the beta right now. They're doing the beta. That's going to be a, a co-op game. So you can play with friends, family, whatever it is. Things like that. You can choose co-op. You don't have to do co-op. Go. Feed the cat a fish. I want to wait till I get like a salmon or a tuna before I feed him. I mean, we gave him a fish, I think, last time, but I want to. I want to give him an actual, uh, like a like a, his favorite fish type thing. I have Porsche on PC and console. Love it. I'm waiting for some more updates with Sandrocks. Be Sandrock before I put a lot of time in it. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea to to wait on Sandrock uh, as they continue with the content drop. Is Sandrock or Porsche, are those on Switch? 
Are those games on Switch? Yeah, this game has a pretty good story. Is that how you found me, Fane? Was from uh, Sandrock? Nice. I think sound. It, uh, oh, hello. I think it sounds like Samuel Jackson voice acted for Justice in My Sandrock. <laughs> I've got exciting news. I've been named this year's captain of the summer festival. Wow. So does being captain mean you get to ride on a parade float? <laughs> no, but I do get to organize everything and make sure the festival is perfect. Sounds like a lot of work. Oh, it is. Francis did it one year and almost had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Yay, hon. I need your help. The festival is a day long celebration culminating in a big bonfire oh this sounds beach. amazing I need wood ah. lots and lots of wood please bring any you can spare to thomas he's volunteered to help assemble the bonfire thanks so much you're the best very well i got enough wood for you actually hang on a sec i know you don't sit shiva but i wanted to give you this anyway thank you sophia chicken As soup community, it's our job to come and lift you up in your time of mourning <clears throat> yeah, my time at Porsche's on Switch. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, my time at Sandrock is in early access. It's still in early access. They're still adding uh, content to it. But um, once it goes full release, then it will come to consoles and stuff like that. I don't think Nintendo... I don't think you're allowed... At least Nintendo policy. I don't know if Nintendo allows it. I don't think you can have early access games on Nintendo. Hello, I got your wood for you here, buddy. Here's the wood for the bonfire, Thomas. Thanks. It's really nice of you to help Sophia out. Oh, there you there. Mean, together. Watch sure I'm not biting. Well, nice talking to you, Thomas. Wait, I ugh, need a favor. Deliver her flowers. The summer festival is meant to celebrate the bounty of Fairhaven. Sophia and Angus spend the whole week leading up to it cooking and baking. Sophia asked me if I'd help her with the corn for popcorn. I filled up as many of my plots as I can spare, but it won't be enough. You need me to grow corn? Yep. Here are the seeds. Five bushels ought to do it. Dang it, dude. I'm already growing corn, but hey, that's fine. Let Sophia know you've dropped off the wood and she'll give you something sweet. Oh, cool. There we go. So, were you and Lena ever... Oh. Hazel told you about my high school dating life? Uh -oh. It was a long time ago, and she moved on. Parker, he's a stand-up guy. But did you move on? Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, very well. Hey, Gretchen. I've uh, been wanting to tell you so bad that Kim is non-binary. Okay, very well. They go by they or them. All right. Do they, does, do, does, uh, I guess, uh, uh, um, I guess, do they, do, do, do they mention that in the game? I gotta, I gotta look, listen to that in the dialogue. I might have been saying the same, the wrong thing this whole time. Yeah, Nintendo only takes finished games. That's, that's what I thought too. Okay, very good. Let's go back to Sophia. Actually, no, we got to go to the farm. We got to go buy feed. Yeah, demos demos are different. Demos are a, a little bit different than like early access. For instance, like Harvest Stella. You can download Harvest Stella demo and try that out. Uh, yes, yeah, so I would like to buy. From, no, not gift. Sorry, my bad. Buy from chicken feed. Um, 20 days worth, 25 days worth, send it. Chickens can't blow away in the wind, right? I hope not. I would hate to get smacked in the face by an errant chicken. <laughs> 
An errant chicken. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, you need some iron. Ah, just the miner I was hoping to see. Silver. I struck silver in them dar hills. I think I have, yeah. You know it's not hills, right? Uh, of course. Sure. <laughs> Mostly. Look, I love working with precious metals, but I have no idea how to extract them. And I need some silver for our wedding bands. If you dig up some raw ore, Natalia can turn it into an ingot that I can work with. Let's see what I can find. You and Angus deserve the most beautiful rings. Very cool, very cool. Natural alloy. Francis has requested silver ingots that he can turn into wedding bands. Oh, very good. Ah, Summer. The time when I haul out my military-grade sunscreen. Angus makes fun of me, but look, the most important part of skincare is protecting your skin from the sun. No offense to Angus, but he looks like he might need military-grade sunscreen, too. Right? I don't want to say I told you so when my beloved gets a melanoma, but I have told him so. <laughs> Every year. <laughs> Very good. Hey, Diane. Diane says, my first time catching the live, and it's 6 a.m. here in Sydney, Australia. Well, shout out to Sydney, Australia. Very good. Very good. Welcome in, Diane. It's good to see you. Okay, wait. We need the wood. Yeah, Sophia. Hello, Sophia. I gave Thomas the wood you needed. <sighs> Lovely. Here, this is fresh out of the oven. Pie? You deserve it. Pie. Apple pie. This party is lit. Sick. Very cool. I don't think they outright say it. It's just implied by other characters. I might have to, like, listen to it. Listen to the characters, uh, uh, conversate. Or at least mention. Because I, I have not even picked up on that. I think I don't, I don't think I picked up on it. Because usually if I'm talking about typically anybody, I, sometimes I say they to, to anybody. So I might not have like it might not have clicked in my head. I was delighted to learn there is a summer festival in Fairhaven when I first moved here. There's one back home called Tiergran, the Festival of Rain. My family didn't really observe it, but my friend's family did. Her mom made the most amazing saffron rice pudding ever. Rice year. pudding. I haven't had that in a long time. I don't know, Amira. I need to learn more about Amira. I do. I do, I do, I do. I'm not sure about her. She's she's still on like, you know, I don't know. Question marks for me. It's hard to express how much I'll miss Hazel. She's been a guiding hand my whole life. But I'm glad that she and Robert are together again on the other side. I've lost more loved ones than I care to speak about. Oh, Shelby. I still see them sometimes, though. Oh. What? You mean like in dreams? Sure. Okay, that's a little creepy, Shelby. I even use, uh, I even use, like, they as, like, plural sometimes. Like, multiple people. That's probably the, 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 the time I use it the most. You generally say, you generally say it until you know differently. So we need, it's Sunday. We can't talk to Parker about what we need for the garden plot. Let's see here. Da, 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 let's go here. Um, we'll do one more scoop across the beach here. See if there's anything that we can grab. I might dip into the mines for a little bit. So we get some lower levels or higher levels. I guess you could say, yeah, higher levels. Francis wants some silver. Which, actually, you know what? Let's see if Natalia is in. I don't know if she's in on a Sunday, but I guess we can see. Oh, I need to feed my chicken, too, I believe, too. <laughs> hey, An Anus. How you doing, Anus? Watch your recent diary video and support your decision. I'm only a subscriber, but I really like you and your content. I appreciate that, An Anus. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. How long does the speed spell last for? I think it's four to five days. 
Four to five days, I think. Yeah. We don't need to water our plants. They're good. So let's see if Natalia. If, um, if, you know, if Natalia is open. She's not. She's closed on Sundays. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She'll be open tomorrow. All right. Let's go to the mine for a little bit. Rest of the time that we have. Did I talk to the cat today? I did not. Talk to the cat. I wonder if I can get a salmon out of this um out of this pond here. Let's see. Let's see what I can get from here. I mean this is kind of like prime real estate. I mean, you got to think about it. We have a house, a lot of acreage. We have a waterfall. We have a, like, deep mine. Like, this is pretty cool. <laughs> and wherever this goes to, I'm excited to see where this bridge goes as well. Level 11. Hello? Is someone here? That's a little creepy. <sighs> oh, it's that thing oh, again. As I live and breathe, I forgot you might be here. <laughs> You again. I saw you before. What's your name? Do you live in Fairhaven? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I don't think I'm supposed to tell you that yet. What do you mean? I think... I think... I think I better go. Awful sorry, Tara. Dude, what that character... Here and disappear like that? Also, how does she know my name? That character looks brilliant. I love, way, I love the way that character looks. Alrighty, there we go. Hmm. Pop it. Alright. See what we can get here? Let's see if we can go burn through this fast, too. Oh, there's... I think that's silver and iron. Maybe multiple? Oh, no, that's not. That's just all iron. There we go. I'm very happy that the game does give us more energy. Kind of like, in, you know, your other, sarm uh, <laughs> other farming games. I, there you are. You know, there is. You, I think Stardew Valley, it's like the, uh, the star fruit, I believe. I think that's what gives you more energy. There we go. And then, like, I think way back in, like, Harvest Moon 64, I think it was, like, that, that one special berry. I can't remember the name of the special berry. Is salmon usually a river fish? Yeah, salmon is a usually a river fish. I was just seeing if it was possibly maybe like just in any kind of fresh water in this game. I don't know how literal they are about about where uh, like the salmon is or any fresh water fish. But I think minnows are technically in rivers too sometimes. I just don't know where a river is in this map. Oh, I, yeah, I guess it's at the forest. Well, I don't know. That's like a lake. That seems to be a lake to me. I don't know. Oh, we have the shovel. We haven't used the shovel yet. Oh, very good. What is that? Clay? We might need that eventually, right? I forgot we got the shovel towards the end of the, the last stream. Yeah, this high energy is going to do some magic. Absolute magic for us. Yeah, we got some silver ore. We got to smelt it down tomorrow when we uh, get to uh, Natalia. Tell her to smelt it down for us. And then we'll give it to uh, Francis. Yeah, give it to Francis. But at least we're getting silver ore. You won't be able to get silver ore, silver ore until you get... Um, high enough to this level in the mine i believe let's see here. i could actually pull this off mm, let's do it until you get i'm assuming 10 level 10 is where when the silver ore comes in have i visited the mountain pass i have not i don't think i have that might be where river is right mountain pass I haven't unlocked the river yet. Okay, that's... Okay, good. That's probably why, I, why I'm like, there's no river. I can't find a river. Well, maybe because you haven't unlocked it yet. Hey, crazy Cajun. How you doing? 
crazy Cajun J. There we go. go. Man, I am striking out on these keys, man. Does anybody know what the max level is on the mineshaft? Is it 15? Is it 20? If you know, please share. I would like to know. Just so I have an idea of what, like, what I'm, what's my end goal in the, in the, in the mineshaft. Level six is silver ore? Okay, good shout. There you go, level six. Hey, this looks like a key to the next level. There we go. Got the next key. Salmon can be caught in the mountain during the winter. Oh, okay. Very good. The mine is level 20. Okay, level 20 mine. Level 20 mine. What the heck is this? A topaz. Now I got to get something else in here. Dong, 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 dong. Let's get back into the house before it's too late. My gosh. So we need to get one more gem out of that, too, in order to go down a level. All right, let's get back into the house. Ooh, baby. <sighs> what a long day. Gotten salmon in the mountain area and haven't made it to winter yet. Oh, okay. Hey, Aradol, Ar Ardo Ardzol, Ardzol. Hopefully, I said your name right. Aradzol. Hard name there. New viewer to the channel. Looks like an awesome game. By the way, lots of my time at Porsche vibes. That's <clears throat> well, good to see you. Morning, Parker. Can I help you with something? Can I help you with something? Yes, actually. Natalia told me all about the great job you did on the mine, and you know that broken bridge over yonder. Uh huh. What'll it be? Well, some more wood and some iron from your mine would shore up the supports. The mayor's excited because a scientist with a big research grant wants to move into the old lookout post. But I just want to take walks up the mountain pass again and visit my favorite flowering dogwood trees. Okay, I'll help. Thanks. You can bring the supplies <laughs> by my shop when you're ready. Well, there you go. There's the mountain pass. <laughs> Water under the bridge. Parker can repair the bridge to the mountain pass. If you bring him enough wood... And iron ingots. Perfect. Exactly what we've been wanting to do. We just got literally done talking about it. All right. Very cool. Hey, Thanks, Parker. Thanks for telling Emmy and Finn you'd help with their lemonade stand. I like helping them build stuff. I transform from just dad to cool guy with power tools. Cool guy with power tools. You are a cool guy with power tools. Cotton. Get the cotton going. This game is going back on my wish list. I'm really enjoying it. I want to move into the mountain pass. It's beautiful up there. One thing I do kind of... Uh, uh, I got super hyped for that I haven't seen quite yet. Is... There was a glimpse in the very, very beginning. We saw it in the day one, right? We saw it in the day one. There was a very, very tiny glimpse of there was a side quest where we could have a choice in whether or not, um, you know, when we had, we could choose to give paper to Francis or give paper, was it to Francis or Cameron? I wish there, and maybe there will be more, but I wish there will be more of that. Of those kind of like decision making quests. Doesn't seem like we, um, it changed any of the gameplay, um, since doing it. So I just hope that, you know, <laughs> there's that. Miracle Grow. Bye bye. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Corn, corn, corn. Corn, tomatoes, tomatoes, corn. What do I want to zap here? Beer hop. No, no, no. There we go. Do I need 17 bars in total? Is that what it is? 60 hours in and still having fun. That's incredible. I need to get a better watering can too. 
Yeah, it's very linear that way, isn't it? Okay, we have cor what was the uh hang on a sec. It was the corny request, right? Yeah. Corny request cloth and sugar, sugar, sugar. Yeah, my sugar, sugar, sugar baby. Um what's that one song? Sugar sugar baby. Uh beautiful gosh, there, there's a song right there that I'm I'm trying to hit. Sugar fly baby. Come on now. What what is that song? What is that song? It's an old song. Older song. I think like 2000s. Whoa. A little bit of frame right there. So we have that growing fast. We have the cotton growing fast. I think if I were to grow anything else fast, it would be the corn. But that's done in two days. So I'm not really stressing about it. Uh, maybe the sugar cane. How long does that take? Five days? I mean, I guess. We can do it. Might as well. One thing I do want to do, though, oh, I'm already brewing something. Can I change this out? Five hours? Okay. No, I'll do it. 2000s old. It's older. I mean, you have to think. It's almost quarter of a century ago. Right? Now, how old did I make you feel? That the 2000 was uh, a quarter of a century ago? Butterfly sugar, baby. Yes. Crazy Town Butterfly. Thank you. Somebody said it. That's that's it. That was it. That was absolutely it. Butterfly by Crazy Town. Maybe that was like 1999, possibly. I don't know what year that came out. 2000s is new release. No, no, no. 2020s is new release. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think people want to accept that uh, time is flying by. Strawberries? Question mark. Hey, I've heard you're helping with the summer festival. <laughs> Word gets around quickly in this town, doesn't it? Every summer, I make my giant strawberry shortcake for the whole town. It's my own personal mission oh, that to make it so bigger good. every year. One day, I'll beat the world record. I need strawberries, heaps and heaps of strawberries. It would be so awesome if you could spare some. Oh, I hope my flower delivery comes in time. I am growing strawberries currently right now, too. We used to go to a famous uh, strawberry festival every year and get the best strawberry uh, sh uh, strawberry shortcake you could get. During summer, my brother Jamie likes to wear kilts made out of the Seton tartan. Says it gives him better ventilation. Francis said I'd look distinguished in a kilt, but uh, I'll just stick with my jeans. Come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly, sugar, baby. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. There we go. Now now we're picking it up. <laughs> How is animal man management slash usable in wildflowers? Reasonable or do you need to continually eat or sleep? Um, well, it, it depends on your situation, really. We just got an energy bar increase uh, for coming into summer. Um restorative teas you know drinks food all good stuff but you can also make uh potion energy potions and stuff like that too as well so um the thing about this game is there's not there's a day right there's monday but you don't have to worry about dates like you don't have to worry about spring 2022 or sorry spring on the 22nd or something like that you pass time on your own you have control of time so to speak it's nice that school is out and I get Vanessa to myself a bit. She really gives so much of herself to those children, even the ones who are a bit more difficult. How about Tears of a Clown? Anybody like Tears of the Tears of a Clown? Song-wise, I'm talking song-wise. Is it Tears of a Clown? I keep telling myself that I'm going to start running. It's so good for your heart. But then the summer heat hits me, and I think <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow will be the day. I would say, honestly, is this game is more story-driven, relationship-driven, and farming is kind of like put into a backseat a little bit. Finally, I can see. Vegetable patch, what do I need for that? Soil, ironing it. $1,500. That's what it was. $1,500.
This I just need a bunch of that. Okay, let's go to Natalia. Let's go to Natalia. I had to watch the video now. For me, the 80s feel like yesterday. I bet Mayor Otto was a difficult child. I bet you he was a only child. <laughs> Silver. Two. Don't know if I have a lot of money to pull this off, but we'll see. 17? What do I need for this? I can make that right now. Oh, uh, no, I can't. I need money. Oh, we're barreling right towards the longest day of the year. I'm like a sunflower. I need light in order to feel like myself. And by summer, I'm practically humming there's so much light. Okay, so we have the silver ingots. Which will go to Francis, which I don't know where Francis hangs out at. Water under the bridge, which is good, but we need more money for Parker. The blacksmith looks like Medusa. One of my favorite songs is Fly Higher, Fly Higher from opening of Rune Factory 3. Oh God. Damon, what do you have to say about summer? My pa used to love the summer festival. He sounds like a fun guy. Well, yeah, and it put us in the black every year. Folks in Fairhaven can put away a lot of weed ale on a hot summer night. Let me, let me, let me, let me paint you a picture real quick. All right. Let me paint you a picture. It's like the 2000s. Let's see here. We'll go back to the whole thing. The 2000s wasn't that old, right? Picture yourself in 1994 and say 25 years ago. Where do you stand? 25 years before 1994. Where, where do you stand? Wesley, that bookseller from Milkwater is my biggest customer these days. What does he do with all that meat? Does he like feed an orphanage? A carnivorous orphanage? <laughs> I want to sell you my chicken, Kim. What are Francis hanging out at his house? If not, he's probably going to be at the bar. There he is. Is this the kind of silver you need? Oh, Tara, this is perfect. I can't thank you enough. Just give me first look at the rings when you're done. They're going to be stunning. By the way, have you ever heard of uh, creatures in the mine with pink hair and, and gray skin? You won't know. Honey, you must have grabbed this silver off a of gas fence or something. <laughs> yeah, that was probably it. Here, this is for you. Thanks so much. That's good money. We needed that. When I think summer festival, I think of a packed street, fried food, someone blasting reggaeton out of a window, ya tu sabe. And most importantly, space for me to set up a cute little stall with my latest jewelry designs. But you know, Fairhaven's version is fine too. Not a fan of, uh, of, not a fan of, uh, of hours of dialogue. The thing about this game that's pretty good is, yes, the voice acting is good as well, but it seems like on average, you have characters who you interact with that, um, have maybe two or three, like, segments of, of dialogue at most. Like, they don't go on and on and on and on. And you don't really get repeated dialogue that much in this game, which is a big deal. So, like, for another day, a new day, there's not a lot of repeated dialogue. Sometimes in farming games, you can get a lot of, like, reading the same text over and over. You don't get that in this game that much. Whoa, there it is. Look at that. That's so cool. They already have the bonfire ready.
So if you were if you started school or you graduated school in 1994, were you then saying this at that time? Were you saying, man, 1969 was so f long ago? Were you ever saying that or no? <laughs> or were you ever saying 1969 is old? I mean, think of the 90s threads, the 90s fashion compared to like the fashion in the 60s. Now, I'm not talking just like clothes. I'm talking like houses, too. I'm talking houses. I'm talking cars. I'm talking department stores. I do want to make another potion. I do want to make another potion. I do. <clears throat> You'll get more repeated dialogue later on. Well, that hurts me. <laughs> I need more Mandrake, dude. I want more Mandrake. I did notice some repeated uh, dialogue in spring, but it wasn't like a lot, a lot of repeated dialogue. There's some there there seemed to be a good uh, happy medium when it came to like um as you progress through the story something had somebody had something new to say usually Um do we really need to spend it on that now What do we need to do strawberries yeah 3 days for that I can't use no freaking grow grow boost on those just cuz it would be a waste Let's even cut some trees down at least real quick. I think I'll love this game. I was trying to avoid downloading a new game before No Man's Sky comes out on Switch. My forever game, but I think I need this. So, okay, your forever game, No Man's Sky. I'm assuming you own it on PC as well, yeah? Or console? And you're buying it for the second time? On Switch, is that right? I wasn't even around in 1969, but my husband was, so uh, yeah, he would have been upset. <laughs> 1969 was JFK and Apollo uh, 11 to the moon, if you remember correctly. Yes! I guess what I'm trying to say is like, I'm trying to put it in like a, um, in a, in a mind thing, in a, in a mindset, like time, like the, the scale of time. Sometimes because we're in the 2000s, we still think it's a, it's a, it's a new century, but we're almost a quarter away through the century, you know? <sighs> I was born in bed? 84 and my husband was born in 61. I get looked at weird. You get looked at weird, really? Age is just a number, baby. By the way, thank you for that. For Well, age is just a number to an extent. Let's be real here. Uh, there has to be thresholds met first before age is just a number. Uh, let me make that clear. But thank you, Danielle, for the super chat. Appreciate that. Yeah, the characters in this game are pretty alive. I had a 90, uh, 73 AMC Hornet. It was my favorite car ever. Got it in 1996. <sighs> what year did, um, what year did, uh, Ray, uh, what's that song? I just listened to it last night. Um, what year did, um, oh my God, I can't think of the name of the song. Video killed the radio. Do you know what I'm talking about? Video killed the radio. My Lord, why am I having a hard time putting my, my finger on it? MTV, 19, was that 1980s in the 80s or something? Radio star? Radio, a video killed the radio star. Tomatoes, though. Video killed the radio star. Yeah. 
What year was that? Was that 1989 or was that 1979? 89. 80? Or was that... Is the first... Yeah, the first MTV video. Exactly. What? When was that? 1980. Okay, so I was like 89 or 79. It was after 79 on to 1980. Got it. If I see a flying card, then now I would feel considered old. <laughs> they do have actually, uh, I don't know if anybody has seen them yet. I, I don't, I forgot what company, but I, I, I'm pretty sure there was a company I saw. They're making hover bikes for $850,000 or something, I think. I don't know if that was a gimmick or if that was real, but I saw like some sort of like video on it. Like, going from 1994 to 2000 appears like a longer time than it really is. It's kind of the same psych psychology behind people thinking 99 cents is cheaper than a dollar. Yeah, that's true. Go to the Dollar Tree. No, I'm going to go to the 99 cent store. Because it's cheaper. Yeah, okay. <laughs> A oh, song released 1979. The video was 80. Okay, so it did. Okay, so song was in 79. Video was 80. Okay, very good. How much hearts? I forgot how many hearts he has. How many hearts do you have? Oh, wait, I could just see right there. Once you get into high hearts or the chicken to high hearts, you you want to sell them for good money, yeah. Now we got tomatoes. We need 200. We can sell these tomatoes, but I feel like these tomatoes might come up in a quest or something eventually. Hello, cat. Listen to that purr. I was 10 years old in 1980. The Jetson lied to us. I expected to be flying space cars and having electric sidewalks by now. Oh, hey, Wesley. Maybe the whole psyche around it as far as like, um, like Y2K. Maybe that threw everybody in a time warp or something. By the way, Wesley is a, look at that. He is a marriage candidate. Yes. Do you get much time to read, or does the farm keep you too busy? The farm keeps me on my feet from dawn until dusk. But you should read a little every day. It's like drinking water. Good for you. Is he part of the coven? Hang on a sec. Let me let me talk. Let me take a look at you here, Wesley. What do you like? Wesley, 35, is a bookseller from Milkwater, so he says. <laughs> Y2K was a crazy time to be in it. What's up? You seem distracted. Ah, don't mind me. Just looking at flights to Japan. Japan. Oh, planning yeah. a visit? Take me. Not actively planning. I just haven't been back in 10 years. Wouldn't mind seeing all my cousins again. I could sell that meat for $140. That's the meat she gave us, I believe, right? Um, I could sell Pancho for $600. My lord. I feel like I should be, like, grooming some more uh, chickens as we go. Oh, are you going to ask for tomatoes, Lena? I'm getting the sense that Fairhaven's festival isn't just about the solstice. Is there a story behind it? Oh, yes, there certainly is. Here, let's step outside and I'll explain. 
This is a statue of my ancestors, Peggy and Molly. They lived here during colonial times. Whoa, I knew your family had been here for a while, but I didn't realize just how long. One summer during the Revolutionary War, the British Navy demanded all of the town's stores. So the people of Fairhaven loaded all of their crops and livestock into a storeroom ready for transport. The next morning, the soldiers opened the doors and saw an empty storeroom. So they had to sail away empty handed. Then Peggy and Molly led the mayor of Fairhaven to the lighthouse. And there it all was. The girls swore up and down that they'd prayed on it and a miracle had happened. To this day, we still don't know how they pulled it off, but we celebrate it even if we don't understand. And here I thought this was just a statue. <laughs> oh no. That's awesome. It's rare that the things around us are just anything. That's awesome. So now we know a little bit of history on, oh my God, this fly, on was, um, on the statue. Oh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you on the statue here. You meant IT, uh, not uh, it. Hey, Cassie, how you doing? Hang on a sec. Let me just... Itsy Bitsy Piper. Hello, I'm finally catching a live. Yay, I also realized I was subscribed to you on my personal YouTube account. I had to fix that before I could chat since the other account is my full name. Well, hello there, Itsy Bitsy Piper. Hello, Mira. Marty Emerson came by my clinic asking for antihistamines. Strange that a man who is allergic to animals would choose to open a ranch. Judging by the bite on his hand, <laughs> I better keep plenty of antibiotics in stock, too. Hmm. You got 2.7k from full hearts on a chicken? Oh my lord. I want to go into their house. I want to see what's inside. Like, I want to see inside. I don't think we can go inside their house, though. But I would love to see what's inside. You get money and meat when you sell the chicken? Oh, very good. I want to see if there's anything I need to... Um, if I can make anything with the meat i mean the meat is a lot of money right now as it is if there's anything i can make with the meat i might save the meat otherwise i'll sell it uh-oh hi francis looking for pearls i was but i guess i got lost in thought watching the waves the water here is much colder but the waves always make me think of la isla not that I even got to visit it much. Growing up, I didn't really feel at home on La Isla, but I didn't really feel at home in the city either. Do, do you feel at home here in Fairhaven yet? Um, yeah, you know, uh... Um... More than the city, yes, yes, and yes. Well, I might not feel completely at home yet, but it feels more like home than the city ever did. <laughs> I hear you. I can't imagine ever living there again. No shade. It's just not for me. Maybe once Angus and I are married, it'll feel more like home here. Oh, listen to me. I'm just babbling out loud. Thanks for listening, Tara. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I I I guess that would be the 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 use of the um the meat, right? Buying the recipe book from from Kim. Hello, Looking Shelby. forward to the summer festival, Shelby. It's a bit tamer than the summer festivities I remember from my boyhood. Tamer. It's music and dancing. <gasps> Shelby, I didn't know you danced. Oh, I can dance circles around any of you young folk. <laughs> oh, Shelby likes to get down, dude. Shelby does get down. Love that. Game looks fun, but I play my time at Porsche, Sand Rock, Animal Crossing, Dinkum, Hoko Life, and Stone Earth. Don't think I need another game pretty much the same. <laughs> Hoko Life uh, actually comes out on full release here in the next um, 
Uh, I think very soon, actually. Very soon, Hoko Life comes full release out of early access. Never played it. Never played that game before. I've heard it's a good grind. I've heard, I heard of, I heard it's a grind. But I think I'm going to finish off the day with the mining. And then by tomorrow, our crops will come in for the strawberries, the corn, and I think even the cotton, maybe. I don't know all of that at once, but something like that. Yeah, I like Francis a lot, too. I like Francis a lot as well. Now, we haven't fully completed this um, this level, even though we can go to level 12. We haven't fully completed this with the uh, minerals. I should probably pick up those rocks regardless. Yeah, I do have the uh, Cape Malay uh, recipe. Unless you're talking to me or somebody else, but yeah. This game looks super cute. I actually added it to my Steam wishes after seeing you play for the first few hours the other day. Oh, very good. Very good. Hey, Wendy. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Wendy says, Hoko Life is on the 27th. Okay, 27th it comes full release. And out of early access. Very, yeah, so many good games indeed. So many good games. I've heard good things about Hoko Life and, and I have heard bad things. Not like drastic bad things. More of like, just like, kind of gameplay bad things. Do it, get to it, get to it. I know a lot of people didn't like, um, I know a lot of people didn't like some of the characters in, in Hoko Life. I know some people didn't like the, the, the tutorial or like the vast giant like beginning grind stage that I've been told. I don't know. I've been, uh, it's more of a, um, description of somebody trying to tell me about gameplay that they did not want to be spoilerish, you know, but it does have my interest regardless. Still does have my interest. I wonder if I can get anything new from these sand ones here. Maybe dig too. Digging wouldn't be a bad idea. Hey, Joan. Yeah, the that that's why I feel like this game is is definitely um story first, farming last. Hoko Life is okay. It's not my favorite game to play, uh, but it was something to do when I was bored with Animal Crossing. And then long came Dinkum. <laughs> long came Dinkum. Very grindy, and I got bored quickly. I'm all I could eat. So many games out there that are better. I guess more or less like, I guess if you if you lose the the game the players, the players engagement. I guess. The, the 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 player will sit there and say you know what i'm probably i can probably spend my time better elsewhere type thing i wonder if they would change any of those things uh going forward with full release 
if they will make it less uh, like that, less grindy. I do have these fish fingers to sell, too. I'm going to sell these tomorrow. And I finally, uh, like, hoarded them this whole time. I'm going to save the flounder, though. Yep, yep. Should I go to bed? The mechanics are eh. Building is a nightmare. Hey Shelby, how you doing? Hey Avalon, looks like I'm gonna have to get another new game. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, Avalon. Let's grab this. The fact that we are keeping up to par on our soil game seems pretty good. Our corn's done. That's also good. Right, then along came Dinkum and all other games took a back seat. Ah, <laughs> oh, four, not freaking five. Gosh darn it. Okay, I'll put the grow on this one. Dinkum is fixing to have an update soon with new stuff. Gonna be hitting that game again? Yeah, same. I'm gonna be hitting it, hit it again too. Once that update comes and once we get like a date, I'm gonna be uh, smacking it. I tell you, what, I'm gonna be smacking it once again. I don't actually want to put. Well, maybe I won't. Won't put extra grow on the um, on the corn. That's gonna be done tomorrow. How much do you get for fish fingers? I heard other players say they are really money. I, I've been told a hundred. That's what I've been told. I've been told a hundred for them. I'll have to test it out. <laughs> you know you're old when you gotta go to the pump and daydream when five dollars would fill your tank. <laughs> Even though I have nothing to do in Dinkum right now, I'm designing things. And, you know, designing things is still fun, I think. Personally. I mean, that's really all we can do, right? Oh, you're thinking about what you're going to get for your birthday in four days. Very well. You have any what what are, what are your options? What are your options for your birthday as far as a gift, yeah? What is your options? You have a lot of eggs too. Smack it, flip it, rub it down. Oh no, I'm sorry, did I miss something? Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. We we don't have our uh our spell on right now. I might need to make some more paper. I haven't been able to do my beeswax lately just because we haven't been able to grow any honey because our flowers are coming in still. Two of those, baby. I forgot which gave me... Is it this? Yeah. This gives me it. Ten. I need to make a blessing. I need to, like... I need to drop some things in, in a blessing here soon. Let's go here. Aryom. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Na 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 Sabrina the teenage witch. Summon small things. Things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. All right, let's go sell some things. Yeah, sell some things and give money to Parker, basically. Uh, oh, hello, Wesley again. 
So, what's milk water like? Uh, pleasant. Pleasant. Yep. Just pleasant. Very well. Hey, did... did I hear you singing just now? Look, it gets lonely in here sometimes. I gotta keep myself entertained. You should try it on the farm. Lena, I got a few things to sell to you. I have, first of all, I have some blueberries. Second of all, I have a banana, coconuts, some eggs, and I will go to Sophia to sell the fish fingers. So I don't, I'm going to hold on to the tomatoes because I might, I feel like I'm going to need the tomatoes soon. Did Hazel ever tell you that she met Robert at the summer festival? The teenagers used to challenge each other to jump over the bonfire, you see. Robert waited until it was stacked really high, and then he took the biggest leap. And he cleared it? No. His pants caught fire, and Hazel dumped her lemonade on him to put it out. <laughs> ah, it was the beginning of a great love story. Winkle Jay, the little shop is good if you enjoy running a fantasy shop. Yeah, a lot of people liked... Uh, Winkle J when we played it on the channel. I have a lot of episodes, a lot of videos on Winkle J. I, I really enjoyed it when we played it. Every time Joliet complains that she's bored, I just ask her to help me prep something for the summer festival. And magically, she's hardly ever bored anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. Um Yes, a hundred for the fish fingers. We can give her all eight for 800, which then a beef wellington, a cheese pizza, a quiche, recipes for beverage buffs. Love that. We can resell her everything that we got from everybody else, but we're not going to. Awesome. Cool. We'll save our money for now because we are in need of money to build a few things. So, Damon, why did your folks decide to move here? I was starting kindergarten and, well, they thought it'd be better to start fresh somewhere new. I guess they just felt drawn to this place, like you. Yeah, there's a bat repellent in the new update. When my grandpa passed back in Kauai, it was <sighs> kind of sudden. I didn't get a chance to be with him like you did with Hazel. That's really rough, Kai. I'm sorry. Nah, I'm not complaining. I'm just psyched you did get to say goodbye. Kauai. Kauai. My favorite island in Hawaii. Kauai. Hands down, my favorite island. Otto started going to that newfangled consciousness center. Wants me to go too. He's hoping it'll make me a teetotaler like him, I expect. But you know what makes a man thirsty? Sitting on a hard bench for two hours. <laughs> Very well, Bruno. Parker, come on your way, buddy. Hold on tight. Hi, is my future husband. Hello. I saw that Violet's selling marigold seeds now that summer started. Did you know that marigolds scare off pests? Something about the way they taste, I guess. So don't eat any. Huh. I did not know that. Uh, yes, my good man. I feel like I need to get the bridge done first. So will you build this for me? Should only take a day or so. Cool. All right. So water under the bridge. He will take that. And then we'll come back. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to build the vegetable garden. Ah, Mandrake, that is exactly what I needed. Thank God. There we go. All right, we will give a blessing to the cauldron and get that going. More Mandrake indeed. Hey, what's her name? Julia. I always want to call her Violet, but that's her mom. 
Mom said it would be good for me to go to the beach since it's so nice out. Right? But what would I do? No, that's Sophia. Like, sit on a towel and stare at the water? Yeah, her mom is Sophia. Not Juliet. What is Kai is the farseer and is just playing the dumb surfer dude as a cover? <laughs> Put in a bunch of peanuts. 11 peanuts, please. What is the blessing dude for the cauldron? Right here, up at the top, it fills my magic up so that I can craft um, uh, magical items. Uh, no, I won't talk to Angus because we don't have his strawberries yet. I always have marigolds in my vegetable garden in real life. Oh, that's awesome. So they must like, dude, they must really work out then, right? You you must always and never start uh, your vegetable patch without the marigolds, yeah? No, you don't have to drop anything each day, no. Just anytime you're running low. Coconut. Emmy and Finn remind me so much of my cousins. They always had some scheme going. Running around with them probably saved my life in the end. Hippo Man Eater says, Hey, it's actually nice to catch one of your live streams. Very well. Hello, Hippo Man Eater. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Glad that you can make it. I should probably buy more bait, too. Glad you can make it. You're terrible and you skip through text when uh, when playing a game. <laughs> All right, there we go. We'll do a little bit more mining. And then we'll turn in for the day. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I love that. Get it going there. Uh, I almost called him Franklin. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. That would have been bad. Um, I'll go back to 11 to see if I can figure out what's the, can I figure out what my last thing is here? That looks like an amethyst. Yeah, it looks like an amethyst. Hey, Stacy, how you doing? I guess it's like if you get lucky, here's an amethyst. If you if you don't, then you gotta ref refresh the level, or refresh the mine level maybe. Pop that. That's definitely not an amethyst. Still, that's a topaz. Unless I have to bring an amethyst to this level, I'm not sure. Have a good one, Susie T. Have a good one. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, so you can go back and get that piece? So you just bring it to, to this spot? Okay, all right. Is, is that how you do it? We'll just go to level 12 then. Darren, with the 10 super chat, I appreciate that. Thank you, Darren, for that. Or super sticker. I don't, I, I think it's a super sticker or something. Thank you for that, for that. Very generous. Appreciate that. My garden patch IRL is a mix of chili, lime, pineapple, cassava, and coconut trees. Yeah? That sounds pretty good. To keep him going during the marathon stream today. <laughs> All you really need is the key to the next level to progress and you can go back later for the accomplishment. Okay. Sounds good. 
Is it time for bed? It is time for bed. All right, so now our cotton should be ready. And our maybe strawberries? But we at least have the passage going to the mountain now. Oh, dude, this, oh my God. the sunflowers look incredible. Look at them. Water under the bridge completed. Very well. Actually, hang on a sec. Grab the potions. Thank you. Give me, give me, give me this one. Mailbox. Tara, a new neighbor has just moved into her home on the mountain pass. <gasps> what? There's a new person? As a former new arrival, I thought you could help show her the way to town hall. Thanks for doing your part to help welcome a new member to the community. There's another person? Way. Once I figure out how to get there myself. Tara, you just like cross the bridge, sweetheart. It's okay. There we go. Cotton is done. Um, I will plant sugar cane now because I know I'm going to need a lot of sugar cane for the uh, lemonade. I love the sunflowers. Eight days? Good God. Put a spell on that. I put a spell on you. It's nice that the, that in this very small town, um, she's only been here a season and she's already only a former new person. <laughs> Well, if you put it that way, right? <laughs> there we go. Miracle Grow Go on the strawberries. And then we'll do the, uh, the, uh, the corn here. Dreams keeping me company while I play dice game on board game arena. Very good. Glad I could keep you company. Do quests in this game have a time limit? They do not. Uh, anytime you even do, um, like, uh, community quests, like, uh, from the community board, um, there's not a time limit to those either. Okay, now our bees should be able to do their thing, right? Let's see here. Yeah, they should be able to do their thing. We start producing honey now. Chicken. Hello, chicken. Real small towns you live there for 20 years and you're still the city girl. Facts. You'll you'll never like uh you'll never probably lose that uh that title. Pancho, Pancho. My grandpa could grow anything. He had the most beautiful roses. I just look at a plant and it dies in my feet. Wow, look at this place. There's the river. Log cabin. Wow, this place is cool. I feel like every farm game has like their own like mountaintop area. What is that? Nigella? Is that Nigella? Did I pronounce that right? Nigella? What is this? Blackberries? Blackberries. Heck yeah, dude. Me and my grandma used to go out in, uh, and we used to go... Uh, harvest blackberries when I was younger. It was great, but sucked at the same time. Fresh blackberries, but like, it hurts. It really does hurt. Get cut up a lot. Look at this. Brilliant. Thumb the stream. <laughs> Oh, what the heck is this? Like a little hot spring? I don't even know what those are. Those look like hot springs. I think stream's giving me excuse not to clean the house. <laughs> don't go offline or I'm doomed. 
You have a choice of the sex for the character? No, it's just one story uh, built around one character. Oh, this is brilliant. Look at that. That's pretty cool. There's our person right there, person of interest. How are you? Hi, I'm Tara Wild. I own the farm down the mountain path. Are you the new scientist? Oh, I think I saw your farm on my way in. <gasps> oh, She's it's gorgeous. Charming. I am Giva Joshi. And yes, I am a meteorologist. Oh, she's I'm here to wonderful. Study the funny weather patterns you have here in Fairhaven. What funny weather pat patterns? Oh, is our weather that strange? It seems pretty normal to me. Really? Well, I understand you're having a reduced rainfall compared to other areas in the region. Unusual for this time of year. Well, in any case, your mayor told me you might show me the way to town. Uh, absolutely. Uh, follow me. Oh, I love her. This is the blacksmith run by Natalia. Wait, like an actual village blacksmith? Oh, how great! I love her accent. I wonder if she could make me copper wiring for a new antenna. And here we are, the town hall. Oh, you must be Giva. I'm Mayor Otto Soft. Thanks for bringing her by, Tara. We have a little game we play with all new arrivals. No. Haven. Introduce yourself to all your neighbors, and they'll let me know when you've met everyone. No. <laughs> You're a riot. <laughs> I definitely like her. Be serious. Oh, wait. Really? Yes. And you'll get a prize to help you get settled. Oh, you've already met Tara. So that's one down. Um, okay. Why not? Should be good for a laugh, right? This island may be stranger than I thought. Uh, what was that? Oh, nothing. Oh, my God. Wow. She's awesome. I like her a lot. Hey, Sean, how you doing? Otto has already scared her away. I know, right? Hey, Valkyrie Wing, two months in for the now we are in business tier. Wow, thank you very much for that. The highest tier we have. Thank you for re-upping for two months. I appreciate that. Valkyrie Wing says, so glad to catch a stream. Thank you for what you do and distressing me and the hubby after a rough day oh very well i'm so sorry to hear that but i'm glad that i could be here for y'all i thank you for the generosity i appreciate it my papa dragged me to the preacher once or twice when he wanted to do penance for his sins <laughs> that i understood cameron just goes on about climbing some mountain makes me tired just to listen to it can I buy some uh, bait from you, my good man? Recipe for fish fans. I'm kind of interested if he would like... Maybe not. I don't know. Like, that's a lot of money for fish bait. $4? I always say I want to buy a fish bait, but my god. I cannot pull the trigger. Okay, so who has this? Tell Thomas. Okay, let's go talk to Thomas about the cotton. Before it gets too late. That hair, those glasses and earrings, her intelligence. Right there, right? Right there. His smile looks pasted on. I know, it's like a fake smile. Otto is future White House press secretary in the making. <laughs> hey, Raymond, how you doing? Wish this was on console. Now I want a Switch even more. I know, I wish this game was on console too. Hey, Thomas. I picked the cotton. I should have... Ow. Worn gloves. Yep. The ends of the bowls are sharp. You could have... I don't know. Mentioned that? Didn't want to insult your intelligence by presuming you didn't know better. No, don't worry. In the future, presume away. You need to build a loom to make cotton cloth. It will take some wood, but... You've got plenty on your land. Right. So, build a loom? Build a loom. Indeed. Then you can make cloth on it. Come see me when that's done. Build a loom. So that shouldn't be too bad. What we need to do now is we need to kind of like uh, spend our money on upgrading our tool shed. We desperately need to do that. Was she heading towards the brainwashing building? My dad helped out with the summer festival once. He never did it again. 
Said it was too much work for a middling party. Yeah, he, I know. He says it as it's like common knowledge. Like, hey, yeah, you just need to build a loom. All right, what's a loom? You, you need to build a loom, and I'm sure you know how to. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to go to Parker. I think I might be able to make it in time before he closes, if he closes at 5 p.m. Just so I can get an idea of how much I need and what I need to upgrade my tool shed. Come on now. Come on now. 430. Gonna be cutting it close, are we? Sorry, I know I'm coming in like last minute, but here I am, Parker. Hey, buddy. I want to get the vegetable patch still, but like the tool shed upgrade wouldn't be bad. 200 gold, uh, 91 out of 51, uh, 50 wood. Yeah. I can make a bigger shed. Yes. You'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Absolutely. I can do that. Got it. You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. You want to pick all the weeds? <laughs> Um, so I had to go clear out this area. <laughs> oh, look at her spicy self. Hello, Violet. That bookseller, he was really close with Grandma, huh? I think so, yeah. But not like that. Ew! Ew! Hey, if they were close like that, good for Hazel. Yeah, good for her, dude. Absolutely good for her if they were like that, but doesn't mean they were like that. Okay, let's see here. Hang on. Out of curiosity, my social game with Miss, uh, what's her name? Giva? <gasps> She's a marriage candidate. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, my Lord. 24 is a curious, self-sufficient meteorologist who's received a grant to study Fairhaven's weather. She just got here this summer. Could you imagine getting in relations with with this woman and then having the farm at the bottom of the hill and then your getaway cabin at the top of the hill. I'm in. I, I, I think I'm in. There. Hello. I will have to figure gifts out later for you later, but all right. I'm in it. I'm, I'm, I, I think I'm, I think I'm, think I'm for it. Let's clear an area. Shall we? <laughs> oh i'm sorry i just it's just it's so it's so nice wait is that it is that all i had to do was just take out that one rock throw yourself at her feet already i know right just like trip and fall into her arms please I don't know, but I think Giva is the witch in the silver that's not allowed in the coven. That's my conspiracy theory. Ooh. Now, I like it. I like it. Hang on. Let's go to the mine shaft. I like the conspiracy. If it was that, I wonder if it would be that. I don't know. You think she's part of the... I should listen to her voice more, huh? Listen to her voice more and see if I can pick up on anything from her. It's time to marry... Uh, married to mo marry for money. Love is overrated anyways. <laughs> Are there very rich meteorologists out there? <laughs> yeah, everything in the rope gets cleared, but some of those trees I don't think you can take out. I think it was just that one rock that needed to be cleared. <laughs> would be a great marriage for the farm between magic and meteorology you'll be rich right that's true but then at the same time i am interested where wesley came from also i still gotta learn more about wesley before i really make up my mind I'd be, I'd be tempted by Giva, but if not for Kai, I'm a loyal type. I'm loyal to Kai. <laughs> I 
I don't know if we've heard Raven speak before. I can't remember. The mystery person you think is Wesley that went in the wrong way to the fairy? Have we learned any more about Marty yet? We have not really learned a lot about Marty, no. Here I keep going with some food. Uh, let's do it. Let's keep going. Chicken soup. We'll go one thing at a time here. See if we can find this key. Their voices are always altered a bit when in uniform. <clears throat> the guy in the Hawaiian shirt is so cute. If he's free, he's mine when I get this. Yeah, Damon. You're, you're talking about Damon. Yeah, Damon was like, he was at the forefront uh, for the past couple streams. And then some of the stuff he was saying, I I, I, I kind of fell off there. I... But I guess you'll find that out when you play yourself, yeah. <laughs> I'll go this way. Marty is in the witness protect protection program. He's a former pirate slash mafia member who became a, a farmer to hide out. I like that story. <laughs> I'll do that. There we go. So we have all the uh, locations discovered now. That's good. Yep. Hey, yo. this again <sighs> should I go to bed my boyfriend and I are both uh, gamers we tend to have uh, pixel crushes kind of cute I'm trying to think I'm trying to think of like what kind of like character crushes I ever had growing up um whew. I mean, probably a lot of, lot of, lot of old school gamers might say Peach, but I think the first, I think first ever, maybe there's two. First two characters I really started to like was Karen and Potpourri. Karen and Potpourri. I'm talking uh, Harvest Moon. In 64 Harvest Moon. And then eventually, through my teenage years, I was really reliant on Cortana a little bit. I did like Cortana a lot. My other conspiracy theory is that Marty is in the witness protection because he's obviously isn't a rancher. Oh, we got our hops done. Cool. So now if we wanted to, we can get a you know the, the barrel and start fermenting, yeah? Very cool. I don't know which direction to go with this. Uh, we'll do hops again, actually. We'll just do hops. I had a character pixel crush on one of the girls in Cat Cafe Manager, Finley. Oh, that was a good game, too. If you guys have never heard of Cat Cafe Manager and you like story driven kind of games with like uh, tycoon management aspects, definitely look into Cat Cafe Manager. We we did a series of that on the channel and we completed the entire game. There's like multiple endings to that game and highly recommend uh, checking it out. It's a good story game as well. Who, who here crushed on Fox version of Robin Hood? Fox version of Robin Hood. Fox version of Robin Hood. I don't know what that is. Fox version of Robin Hood. I think we all thought Samus was a badass until uh, she took off her helmet. We're like, wow. 
our entire lives, we had no idea it was a she. And then we fell in love with Samus. Build it! Thanks. You'll have lots more space for your tools and such. Should only take a day or so. Hey, Tessa. Tessa says, first live stream I've caught. Been binging your Dinkum videos. Love your channel. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Tessa. Marty seems nice enough, but his boots, they look like the kind you'd buy from some downtown boutique in the city. Not a rancher's boots, you know? <laughs> appreciate that, Tessa. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. That's the Disney version of Robin Hood? Is that what it is? I can't, like, even picture it in my head. Wait, is this where she hangs out at? Look at her. Where do you... How you doing? So, I played the Mayor's Getting to Know You game. It was quite a challenge. Did you know there's a fellow who lives by himself in the woods? Yep, that's Shelby. I'm sure there's a story there. I think what's happening here is... The glasses... Reminds me a lot of Danielle. The earrings remind me of Danielle. The necklace reminds me of Danielle. The bangs and how her hair is cut reminds me of Danielle when she cuts her bangs sometimes. The color of her hair reminds me. I think I'm... With, with, without the, the, the skin complexion, the accent, and the heritage, I think I might be crushing on my wife here. In real life. Now that the ranch is open, Kim's business is thriving. Oh, I'm happy for them. We both come from families that set high standards for success. It can be a lot of pressure. The library girl, I think, was Mary. Mary? I, I, I believe that, too. People that like this game, I think they would like Cat Cafe Manager. Kids must be bored already with school out. Seen Juliet round here a fair bit, but maybe she just wants a quiet place to practice her music. Still waters run deep with that one. <laughs> oh, Shelby. You're good people, Shelby. You are good. You're, you're, you're very good people, Shelby. Very good people. Other thing we need to do, get two more strawberries for Angus, get one more corn, um, get a loom, and we're, we're already getting the upgrade going on. And then get sugar eventually, which I, did we, I can't remember, did we get our sugar cane? Yes, we did get our sugar cane. All right, let's see if we can make some sugar with that sugar cane, right? Unless we need a specific machine for that, which we might need a specific machine for that. I know you gotta marry Giva then. I <laughs> Parker's here. There we go. There's so many of these things we haven't even discovered yet, which is mind blowing to me. We haven't, you know what we haven't done in the summertime either? We haven't gone to the coven. In the summertime. Maybe we should think about doing that too. Oh crap. Go back. <laughs> Gotta pick Giva now. Somebody clip what he just said so he can keep it. Has to be good for uh, one get out of the trouble free card. <laughs> Makes sense. I crushed on Maru and Stardew because uh, she was a nurse. My wife is a nurse and, uh, and name is Mary. Very close. Oh, very good. 
I think that's just things that we just kind of gravitate to, I guess, huh? We kind of mix with our real lives, and sometimes, you know, we gravitate towards that stuff in uh, in games. Hello, Kai. Oh, he seems upset. Hey, Kai. What's wrong? I got worked over by this clothes out of my leash snap. I just don't get why the wave didn't bring my board in, though. It was new, and it's so hard to get longboard shipped here. So what are you doing on the beach? Collecting seashells or something? I was going fishing. I was just about to cast a line, actually. Hoping to catch some dinner. Brock, can you just make sure to take your hooks with you? If I had a penny for every time I've been snagged by one of those things, I would have, like, a lot of pennies, you know. Right. Sorry if I was a grouch. I'm just super bummed about my board. It's all right. I understand. Let me buy you a beer to make up for it, oh. okay? Well, thank you, Kai. See, I did come here to fish. I wasn't lying. We, we had to fish in front of him so he doesn't feel like like we, you know, we're li lying or fibbing there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always tend to gravitate towards the character similar to my husband. I can't even figure out how to get uh, a date in this game. I have several intimate friends, but I can't get any of them to take me on a date similar to IRL. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is there like a is there like a progression point in the, there's probably a if I were to take a guess there's probably a like progression point you have to get to within the game and then it will tell you oh now it's time for Hara to uh to like get married or something and, and something like that that's my guess oh oh let's go talk to this guy we haven't talked to him in a long while hang on a sec before we go to the coven I just love feeling the summer sun on my skin. It's an all-natural mood enhancer. Nothing like the sun in Los Angeles, thankfully. That light is merciless. Are you from Los Angeles, my man? It's not going to change my opinion about you, but still. I tried to avoid you every time I see you. I can relate. Damien, uh, Damon, or whatever his name is, looks like my boyfriend. Damon here, right here. Give him a talk. Look at him. Hey, heard there's a new rancher. Marty's something or other. Word travels fast in this town. Yeah, well, Thomas said something about one of Marty's sheep escaping and eating the lettuce that just sprouted in Thomas's garden. Oh, no. This is going to go really well. I can already tell. Beverly says, by the way, hello, Beverly. Beverly says, I can't live without those spells now that I have them. I know, I'm right there with you. Right there with you. It's time for Tara to get married. Suddenly, everyone crushing on her. They, well, they, they, they probably see like, oh, she has this big farm. Yes, we would like to crush on her now, right? All right, here we go. We'll wait for them to arrive and see what happens. Cameron is from L.A., Hollywood, and he was in acting and started writing and now is in Religion Freak. Seems like IRL Cameron, but I don't know. Or, sorry, real life Cameron, but I don't know. Hello. Uh, honey. Uh, do you want honey? Because I have plenty of honey. Honey, Farseer? Heard you've been asked to help with the summer festival. Yes, Sophia asked me to fetch wood for the bonfire. Bale fire, you mean? Witches have been celebrating the solstice with bale fires for millennia. Non witch folk came along, kept the custom, changed the name. So it goes. The only remember part of the legend. How does the coven celebrate the festival? Oh, we join in with the rest of the town at the bale fire. Our own traditions, we keep to ourselves. Say, you got any milk and honey? I got honey. Oh, is it another potion? You gotta learn your summer rites, novice. We leave offerings for the Fey folk every summer. It's tradition. Okay, well, honey, I can handle. But milk, I don't have a cow. The island will provide. Are you telling me to just 
search for a cow? Of course not. You might be able to strike a deal with the rancher who just moved in. Cool. I mean, honestly, we could probably just buy some milk, but yeah. If you need wood, maybe you can ask Cameron for some Hollywood. <laughs> oh, moonflowers. Kind of think of Kurt Cameron with the NPC. Oh my, which witch is which? Which witch is which? We had milk at one point, and then I think we used it or we sold it. I can't remember. He sounds like Darth Vader. We're pretty sold on the fact that that Farseer guy is Shelby. That's what we're sold on. That one seems like a gimme. Soil. Okay, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to roll around the uh, yard. <laughs> I'm going to run around the yard real quick, pick up my weeds so that I, because I now have ran out. There we go. Yeah, I, I'll definitely build my uh, build my blueprint eventually for the for the for the barn. And I'll get the cows in and things like that. I use the milk on the kitty. Ah, yes, that's right. I did use the milk on the kitty. That's where I spent it. That cat better love that milk. There we go. There we go. Very cool. And that tool shed should be done by tomorrow. Miracle grow now. A lot of adult cats uh, are actually lactose intolerant. Really? I'm sleepy. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I wonder who came up with like the universal like cartoon or like movies where they're like cats love milk. Well, but like Garfield loved lasagna, so I guess anything can happen, right? There we go. Water. Now that we have our shed built, we can start putting some machines in there that we're desperately going to need. There we go. Oh, crap. Still got to get a upgraded watering can. I tend to, like, put that on the back burner. <clears throat> Tom and Jerry? Yeah, there you go. Tom and Jerry. There, there's a good one. Yo, I think... Hang on a sec. I think Garfield was lactose intolerant. No. Maybe that's Cat in the Hat. <laughs> yeah, dude. Cat in the Hat. That's what it was. The Cat in the Hat was lactose intolerant. Hmm. Yep. That's what it was. Cats love milk, but their tummies say hell no. Nah. I'm talking like Cat in the Hat as in like starring uh, uh, Mike Myers, right? And Dakota Fenning. Dakota Fenning was a, was a little gal, little girl. During the time where she was getting movie deals and then she was in War of the Worlds, right? With Tom Cruise, I think? Tom Cruise? The newer, like, I guess the re newer, not the older War of the Worlds. Oh, I thought that said ish happens. It says shed happens. <laughs> That's pretty smart. In the old days, you would give your cat milk, make them get an upset tummy, and they would hunt more to ease their tummies. Isn't that the same thing for, like, dogs? Where they, like, eat grass or something? I just went up the mountain pass the other day. What a magnificent view. All I needed was someone to enjoy it with. Oh, how about I give you an apple pie? Or a chocolate cupcake? How about that? 
Thanks. Oh, thanks. That's all she says. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, thanks. Just thanks. <laughs> oh, I always love when you stop by, Shelby. Take care. Hey, I didn't realize you came into town or bought things from Lena's store. Marcus is my friend, yeah? Why wouldn't I buy canned goods here? My dad lives in Milkwater, remember? Parker and I run the store now. Oh, yes. Hard to keep all that straight. Oh, you knew Lena's father? How long have you lived on the island? <laughs> Here's a riddle for an answer. What is older than we can fathom? but is reborn every month uh here's a riddle for an answer what is older we can fathom but is reborn every month hmm is it the moon that's right or at least i had no idea to be right there's no such thing as a simple question tara wild or a simple answer Ah, classic Shelby. Be kind to him. He understands time differently than us. I'll do my best. <laughs> Very well. Don't give dog chocolate. Yeah, chocolate, I think, for dogs, they say it's poisonous, but I think what happens is that it speeds their heart rate up. Uh, the chemicals inside chocolate or the ingredients inside chocolate, I think it speeds their heart rate up very fast. When Angus starts making fruity summer tarts, it's hard to resist buying them all. I wonder if I could get him to try that new plant-based zero-calorie sugar sweetener I read about. Oh, my I lord. just eat sugar every now and then. Ah, you know, like that. I'm not sure. I'd probably be fine if I did eat some. It just feels wrong. It's okay to be yourself. We're only going to live on this world once, right? Live in this world once. Lena, the teenagers don't still jump over the bonfire at the summer festival, do they? No. I mean, Sebastian keeps threatening to build a skate ramp and do a flying trick over it. But I'm pretty sure Violet would confiscate his skateboard before he could. Oh, dang it. Hang on a sec. Lena, are you a fan of pumpkin? You like pie. I wonder if she likes apple pie. Think you like apple pie, Lena? Let's see. Oh! Yum, this looks great. Yeah! Wait, was that her favorite? No? That wasn't her favorite? Okay, I thought that was her favorite. Yeah, we've had our dogs get into chocolate quite a bit of times. Unintentionally, of course. But they never had any negative effects to that. Coffee beans. We never really had coffee beans in our house before. What's your favorite chocolate? Um, uh, milk chocolate? Milk chocolate? <laughs> Very basic. You know what sounds good is a chocolate pie right now. I could go for a chocolate pie. A nice, hot, warm apple pie with some vanilla ice cream is always the uh, the American classic. She likes pumpkin pie? Is that what it is? She likes pumpkin pie. Okay, good shout. Can't be a good salted caramel chocolate bar. I would have to... You know what? That, that's good. Yeah, a good salted caramel chocolate bar. Not bad. Not bad indeed. I'm not a huge, huge fan of dark chocolate. It depends. I can't just eat a dark chocolate bar. Flat out. Um, I like dark chocolate things. Dark chocolate raisins. You know what I mean? Um, things like that. Dark chocolate pretzels. I can get behind that. But just the straight 
dark chocolate. I'm not a fan of really. I'm not a big fan of uh, chili chocolate either. Spicy chocolate. Oh, look at this. This is very, very, uh, very cool looking. Hello, Giva. That carpenter fellow, Parker, told me that you're the one to thank for helping repair the bridge to reopen the mountain pass. Although the mayor certainly seemed keen to take all the credit. Did her accent change? It sounded like she just got a British accent all of a sudden. What the heck just happened there? That was a little strange. Um, Give it. what do you like? You like some kind of drink. Some kind of something, a soup. Interesting. I'm a dark chocolate kind of gal all the way. <laughs> Last night, I ate a whole chocolate Bavarian. Hot apple pie with a slice of cheddar cheese melted over it. What did you just say? Enjoying summer vacation? What? Well, actually, uh, this is my busiest time at the farm, so... Ha! That's great. Chili chocolate is trying too hard. I agree. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. I am not a fan of it. Cheese, melted cheese on on top of your on top of your. Uh, I would like the fish here on top of your apple pie. She's polyethnic, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. A common fish with silverly silverly scales found near the mountains. Very cool. Can I fish again? Yeah. Giva always had a British accent. Oh, I thought she had like like a like a like a Hindu accent or Indian accent. Yes. Some of the coolest people I've ever met in my life have, uh, in real life, uh, hail from India. I tell you what, the people from India. Oh my God! Like back when I used to work my old job. Oh, fourteen gold. Nice. Back when I used to work my old job, one of our business neighbors, he was uh, from India. And oh my god, he was such a cool guy. Absolute cool guy. He worked so damn hard. And that's the thing is like, man, work, work, work eth ethic. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And how much he provided for his family and what he did and all the sacrifices he did for his family. Like... Just amazing. The sad thing is, is that his son, he had his son set up. He had his son set up. He saved money through his entire life, uh, 18 years of his son's life. He had him like a new car when he graduated high school. He had him a, a, a job ready for him. He had a business for his son and his son didn't, didn't take it. His son didn't want it. His son, you know. And it said no, and like the dad had had an incredible like situation where like he he was gonna move like have his son move out and he would pay for his living expenses and his his son didn't want it, and instead his son wanted to move in with like friends and work at uh, Taco Bell. Here, kitty, kitty. And so it left his father continuing to run the run the business. I was like, wow, that's pretty pretty special huh? oh let's actually go oh wait our shed's not done yet good god come on finish up with the shed The map on the wall reminds you of map of Jurassic Park. 
like chicken nuggets in a Wendy's Frosty. It's either magically delicious or you hate it. Okay, I that that's that's an unfair comparison. Cheese on apple pie is supposed to be a classic. Is that like an east 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 coast thing? Is that somewhere back east? I've never heard of that. Is that like mid east or something? In some places, it's illegal to serve apple pie without cheese. Okay, that has to be some kind of East Coast thing. East Coast, Midwest, where, where, what are we doing there? Wow, look at this. This looks awesome. This is awesome. Awesome indeed. The loom. Two iron ingots. We got it. Don't worry. We got the loom. Let's go build the loom first. We got to go to Natalia. Oh my God. It's Sunday. She's not going to be there, isn't she? Ay, ay, ay. She's not going to be there on a Sunday. So no iron for us. In my defense, I live in... Oh, I live super uh, super close to Wisconsin. Okay, well, then that makes sense. I, 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 I figure that now. <laughs> that makes more sense. I live in the South and never heard of it. Some people don't appreciate that... Things that are given instead of earned. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely not a new Jersey thing. A la mode all the way here. <laughs> hey, Kendra. I heard of cream cheese on pie. But cheddar cheese on pie just sounds painful. Cheese on pie is normal here, but that's because pie here is usually meat. Oh, meat pies. Now, the question is, where are these places as it's a common practice to have cheddar cheese, like, for instance, on a sweet pie, on an apple pie? Are there any other um, sweet pies that are catching a casualty from this? Is there cherry pies that are having cheddar cheese put on it? Or is it just an apple pie only thing? Wait, who was that again? That was Thomas. Oh no, I need to get my spell back. I yearn for iron. Think of it as a... Uh, I can't even pronounce that. Shooter, shootery, 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 like a shootery board um, or similar snack trays. There's always uh, apple slices and cheese. Not that weird. I don't think. Okay. Apple, apple slices. Okay. Time out. Now you're, now you're going somewhere. I, apple slices and cheese. Okay. I get that. Apple slices, cheese. You have olives, but you're, 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 you're talking about something else here. You are saying that um, you're putting apple, butter, sugar, the, the, the sweetness of the apple sauce, uh, the apple in the uh, apple pie. Uh, I don't I don't know what that's called, not the custard, but you know what I'm, you know what I mean. Cinnamon, right? Cinnamon. I'm sorry, do you put cinnamon on cheese? <laughs> I forgot to make my uh, my spell. Hang on. <laughs> Actually, I have my spell. Put it on, girl. Let's go. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Hooray! Let's go to Thomas. Wins Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Give me the uh, cheese lords and the uh, the sausage kings. Down where I, down here where I live, we make apple pies with pears. A pear pie, yeah? No? 
or together, like apples and pears. Here's the corn for Sophia, Thomas. Thanks. She's a single mom running her business all on her own. She deserves all the help she can get. Uh-huh. Don't know why you've got that goofy grin on your face. Just a friend helping a friend. Why, she say anything? It's not about what she says, Thomas. It's about... Okay. Okay. Uh... Don't need advice from you. Anyhow, come see me on festival day. Sure. Why? Just do it. Thomas says you should visit him during the summer festival. Maybe you'll get to taste that popcorn. Very well. I left my best spade outside in the rain last week. Rookie mistake leads to rust. But when I went to get it, the thing was propped up outside my door. Dry as a bone. Oddest thing. Very good point. Very good point. I see it already. So we can buy cotton seeds if we want. Recipes for vegetarians. I'm kind of interested in that too. Very good point. Um... Do you ever eat those apple slices and cheeses together, right? Do you ever put the apple slice in the mouth with the cheese also in the mouth? Or do you eat them separately? Do you go, you know what? I'm going to have a nice piece of cheese. And I'm going to eat it. And this tastes good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a nice glass of wine in between my apple. And then I'm going to have the, have the wine. And then I'm going to eat the apple. Now, cheese on the apple pie... That's all in one hit. You're putting cinnamon. You're putting apple. You're putting dough. You're putting cheese. All in the mouth hole. All right. One of my favorite things is sweet potato pie. I see sweet potato mama. Sweet potato pie. I like sweet potato pie. Now, I did. I'm not. Do you put cheese on sweet potato pie now? Like, or is this exclusively just for apple pie? I need to talk to Parker today, but it's Sunday. I can't talk to him at his business. Everybody's closed. When I was a teenager, I hated summer because my mom made me shave my legs and wear summer dresses. Now I don't have to do either of those. It's not like anyone here cares. Interesting. Interesting take, Kim. <laughs> hey, guy. I got something to sell to you, buddy. Uh, not to gift to you. Sell. I would like to sell all my beeswax. There you go. Hey, level up on Kai's uh, shop. Very good. Paprika, an apple tree, a lime. I, I want to buy a tree eventually, too. Oh, when I was a kid, I used to go visit my cousins at the beginning of every summer for the Shinyo Lantern floating ceremony. We'd write messages on lanterns and then push them into the water. <laughs> it was sick. I asked Dotto if we could do that here, but he said there wasn't room in the budget. Nah, whatever. Apple and caramel does sound good. Have you never had apple and caramel together? Or are you just saying it sounds good right now, like to eat right now at this moment? Like a caramel apple, right? We've all had a caramel apple, right? Maybe, possibly. Danielle loves caramel apples. I tell you what. Have you met the new meteorologist yet? I have. It She's a doll. Someone else who geeks out over data and peer-reviewed studies. Ah, ah. Papers are about hurricane patterns and mine are about flu statistics. Ah! You keep your hands off of her, Amira. I know you go around doing things. We've heard stories. You told us. Do not get anywhere near Giva and do not taint her. Do not touch her. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, you sure have been keeping Parker busy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I don't mind. He loves restoring all the little details on old houses. If it was up to him, we'd go off island to hit up antique markets every weekend. Oh, very good. Hey, Shelby. Whew. Shelby. You don't mind having that fire going when it's this hot out? No, I made my peace with fire long ago. We got a lot of mushrooms for you here, Shelby, if you would like to dive into this, my good man. Ow. 
Apple pie, cheese, and caramel? Cheese with the caramel? Okay, no. No, no, no. Amir is trying to grab your woman. Yeah, she needs to, like, she needs to stay in her lane. She needs to do whatever she's doing the hokey pokey dance with in the forest at night. She needs to do, she needs to continue with that. She needs to not go up to the mountain. I'm watching you, Amira. She needs to not do that. I hate that it's Sunday. Because I feel like I can't do any business. I mean, obviously, I can't do any business on Sunday. They're not open on Sunday. Hello, Francis. You know what I didn't expect to love here? Fireflies. Nothing better than a warm summer night. Holding hands with your fiance and watching the fireflies. Ouch. I sorry, Tara. I forgot about your garbage ex. Oh my god. <laughs> Candied apples from downtown Disney is Danielle's favorite thing on earth. Absolutely. Every time we go, that's exactly what she gets. And where she gets it. Exactly. Sounds like I've made my romance choice. It, it's it's winding down, okay? It is winding down. I do like Giva a lot. Reminds me of my old lady. Myself, I say old lady as in a term, not as in like literal old. I'm older than her, but... Um, uh, but also, I, I want to know more about Wesley and, and his freaking fangs, dude. Unless he went to, like, some tattoo shop and had his teeth shaved, which people do. People get teeth shaved. You know, people get, like, implants. You know, horn implants. We've seen that. Maybe some of us have, some of us haven't, depending on where you live. But, you know. Do the people get mad if you gift them something bad? Just curious. They they become very passive. I've gifted some some uh, I've gifted something something to someone before, and they're like, "Oh, huh. nice." They're like, uh, "I don't really care about that type thing." Yeah, but then if you gift it, if you go here and you try to guess what their favorite food is, obviously you know that's their favorite food, but all you get is a black outline. Trying to find the keys here still. I don't think I will be able to. Tomorrow, we got to go to Natalia and get some iron. And then we got to go to Parker as well. <laughs> Disney candy apples and caramel apples are so good. Facts. Absolute facts. Absolute facts. My poor wallet hates them, though. <laughs> I have TV and internet. I've seen things. <laughs> hey, Matthew, how you doing? Matthew says... This is most likely a bug. If you upgrade the fishing hut to buy tuna, you can buy tuna and flour for 35, fish finger cells for 100. I have two and a half million gold. Well, holy crap. Either it's a bug, right? Or I'm trying to think of else. Um. Maybe they need to adjust the economics on it. Maybe bring fish fingers down in, in sell price, potentially. Or unless that's the way they want the game to be. Right? I don't know. <sighs> Time for bed. <laughs> oh. 
Tarsus. Tarsus ID says, hi, I've watched the first episode of your wild series and I loved it. Just stopping by to say hi. It's 5 a.m. here and I'm stuck in a video call with my sleeping girlfriend. So I need to be sneaky about it. How you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you stopping in and uh, letting me know that you enjoyed the series. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Glad you're enjoying it. You're the reason they put the embargo. <laughs> there we go. We got our strawberries finally. Make that strawberry shortcake. Bug or hidden Easter egg? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> A hidden Easter egg. Get rich quick scheme. Or an exploit. Yeah, or an exploit. <laughs> A hidden Easter exploit. He... Easter egg exploit. There's a setting in settings where you can turn off fish embargo so you can't make all your money from fish fingers. Yo, is that right? Let me see that. Remove time challenge when fin when f right there. Embargo fish sticks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Claim to fame. There you go. A claim to fame. That's incredible. Okay, loom. We need how much again? Two. One. Okay, one. We need one. That's it. One iron. I probably will make more than one. We do have the short uh, strawberries for Angus. Some people played for the story and don't like the heavy grind. Maybe the dev put that in there for those people. Probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, it's a perfect day. Gosh, if I weren't working, I'd put on a bikini and head down to the beach. One thing I love about Fairhaven is that nobody tells me bikinis aren't for me. Which oh. I got in the city sometimes. What? That is messed up. And plain wrong. I may be unlucky in love, but I look great in nylon spandex. Oh my god. Natalia, I would love to see you in a bikini. I am a big, big, big fan of the voluptuous woman. I, I, I love the curves. I love the natural feel. I love the natural look. Of women, I tell you what, you work it, baby. Okay, give me some iron, though. <laughs> also, hand over some iron, please. Please and thank you. I'll make 10. Actually, hang on. How much is the uh, watering can while I'm here? Okay, I'll make this, and then I'll make some more of this. There we go. I gotta go talk to Parker now. Embargo fish sticks. Seeing the setting is why I set out to find it. <laughs> oh, dang it. Angus! Got your strawberries, bud. Here are your strawberries, Angus. Aw, aren't you sweet? <laughs> you see what I did there? If you want a piece of the shortcake, just come by Town Square during the festival. Angus wants you to come see him during the summer festival. Maybe you'll get to taste that shortcake. Very well. It's great that Thomas is helping out with the summer festival snacks this year. He usually grumbles anytime someone brings up the summer festival. I wonder what made him change his mind. Very well. Hello, Parker. My man, I, I got to talk to you. How's your time? Do you have to make anything for the summer festival? Uh, I used to, but I tapped out of summer festival prep a few years back. Don't tell Lena, but the festival creeps me out. What? 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 What the heck is going on with you, Parker? Anyways, vegetable patch. I would love to get this in. 1500. Okay. Barn. 1800. Okay. So this is more reasonable. I can definitely do this. I have enough soil. 
I just need $1,500 to pull that one off. Doesn't seem too, too difficult. Might need a little bit more wood, too. But I think I might be to pull this off now. Potentially. Potentially pull it off all now. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I, maybe not. Maybe I won't be able to pull it off all right now. I, I, you know what? Stop guessing. See it. Send it. Do something about it, right? All right. Let's go to the mini mart first, the general store, and we'll see what we can do. Hello, Lena. This year, I had to set a s'more limit for the kids. Last summer, Finn fashioned a three-pronged marshmallow roasting stick out of some branches and twine. Ah, he is an efficient engineer. I like it. <laughs> that kid is really too much like his dad sometimes. <laughs> um, let's see here. Let's see if I can pull this off. So, coconut, blueberries, blackberries now, eggs, strawberries because I don't need all of them, sugar cane I do need, tomatoes I might need, corn I've done all the corn, it's corn, it has the juice, it has the juice, couldn't imagine a more beautiful thing. All right, uh, 105, all the corn goes. That's all I'll do for that. When do you plan on doing the next Slime Ranchers? Uh, I haven't scheduled that yet, I don't think, right? No, I have not scheduled that yet. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. I think I have one more run in me for a Slime Rancher 2 before we, we kind of done do just about everything. But it is going to come sometime this week. I just don't know what day or what time yet. Oh, great. Now we have someone raising a bunch of animals nearby. Hey, what's wrong with animals? Nothing. It's just that my neighbor used to keep them. <laughs> six pack truck. And how's it going? Six pack truck. And it says, hi, folks. Looks like a nice game. Keep it up. I appreciate it. Thank you. It is. It is a nice game. It is. It is a very nice game. Yeah, indeed. Oh, the water's finally warm. Oh, my well, God. As warm as it gets here. Back home, the water is warmer in winter than the water here is in summer. Doesn't that, like, blow your mind? Not as much as you think it would. Have a good one, Tarsus. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Hello, Amira. Giva seemed so familiar to me. And Stop. then I realized she is my friend Alice's ex. Oh my. Alice lived in my dorm in undergrad and had a picture of Giva on her wall. Wow, small world. <laughs> I'm convinced you can connect any lesbian in the world to any other by less than six degrees. This entire conversation just derailed. First of all, the lesbian remark. Second of all, um, she won't stop talking about Giva. Third of all, she has history. She has connecting history with Giva. F me. Just F me. You're all over the place, girl. You you've you've been to places. Out of all the ranchers Otto could have handpicked to move into the ranch, he chose Marty. I, I agree. His animal husbandry program had any classes on sustainable ranching, and he said, I'll make things sustainable one day once I get this place off the ground. We all know what one day means, Marty Emerson. Marty has to be the raven, right? Right. You need to grab Giva before Mira gets a chance. I know, right? This is getting way out of hand now. <laughs> way out of hand. Hey, hello? Yes. Loom. 
please and actually thank you. Okay, loom has been installed. We can make the cloth, two of them, please. We have made the cloth. Let's go down to Thomas. Give that to him. Oh, did I not touch and feed my chicken today? Sorry, chicken. I totally missed that connection between Giva and Amira in my first playthrough. It's kind of spicy. Very spicy. Right? Hey, Margaret. So happy to see someone playing this game. Just got it on the Switch. Oh, very good. Very good. Good to see you, Margaret. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Game's pretty cool, right? Absolutely. We've been having a lot of fun with this game ever since it came out. Uh, let's see. Not Thomas. Thomas is the other way. <sighs> Will I build the field in front of my home? That's what I'm saving money up for right now, currently. Yeah. I need $1,500 hairs for it. I did it. I wove my own cloth. Well, then, you're good to go. I shall Will you give me money for this? Store. Oh, sure. Lena's the best. Yeah, she is the best. Uh, buyer in town. Always gives a fair price. She'll take any dyed cloth you make, too. If you want to make your own dyes and dye the cloth, you'll need a dyeing bath. Here is a blueprint for a dyeing bath to dye the cloth and recipes for the dyes themselves. Oh, dyes cool. can be made by crushing up the ingredients in a mortar and pestle. I guess you can have a couple of my dyes, too. Thomas... Now, Thank you for all of this help. This is very good. Really appreciate it. I know. Like I said, I promised your grandma I'd pitch in and I will. So we have red dye, blue dye, and purple dye. Nice. Dying batch can now be constructed in your shed. Very cool. I wonder how much it would cost to dye. Or, sorry, to build the dye station first. Do you get more money if you dye the cloth, then sell it? Rather than just selling it now? Is there a, a price difference? Does anybody know that information? Dyeing bath. Very simple to eat, make. Put that there. What else can we make? A juice press. I do want a juice press. I put things like all like together. <laughs> um, fermentation. Need some wood. Need some gold. Need some nothing actually. A churn. Okay, so let let's go. Let's get some more wood. Yeah, let's get some more wood real quick. Definitely spicy. It is it is the details like Giva and Amira connection that makes this island feel like it's part of a larger world instead of an isolated one. Thomas is like a dad figure now. Yeah, I agree. Or at least an uncle or like a... a maybe grand... Nah, maybe not a grandfather, but maybe like an uncle or something type thing. You get more money for the dyed cloth? Purple brings in the most, you think? Very good shout. So I should probably color it up then. There we go. You make the most on purple cloth? Uh, okay, good. Good shout. Oh, did he? Okay, so I must have missed that when he said dye cloth is more valuable. Okay, so let's see here. Purple dye. Okay, so he only gave us the recipe for it. He didn't necessarily say... Uh, or he didn't necessarily give us just the jars very well. So let's go downstairs. Let's see what it costs to make a purple dye. Oops. Oh. I, I'm, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. That, yeah. Right. Oh, the mushrooms finally have a place to go. Tulips, son of a gun. Do not have enough tulips. Uh, red and uh, red and blue make purple. Yeah, all right. Should have known that one there. Okay, so let's go and do that now. 
The only thing bad about the purple cloth is the tulip part, I think. Because tulips are hard to come by. I mean, you only get them during the spring, right? Let's go, uh, nope, not juice press. Um, fermentation, yes, fermentation. It's over here. Let's use these new stuff, man. Let's 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 take a look here. Apple juice, grape juice, orange juice, carrot juice, or olive oil. Just need apples, so grow a tree, basically. Very very good. Carrot juice. Uh, we should be able to get into the hop business, which we can. Yes, let's get the hops going. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. We can sell some things to Damon. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Can you make blue with berry? Hang on a sec. Let me see here. There might be, yeah, more uh, more options on some of these. Not just these, but the ones downstairs. Okay, so just, okay. Let's see. Let's take a look at that stuff downstairs. Hang on a sec. Ah, yes. Wool weed. Blueberries. Forget-me-nots. Okay, so blueberries are going to become... Uh, something special for us. Does this have anything else? Poppy flower in clay. Chili, paprika, and... Okay, so these are a little bit easier than I was expecting. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Got it. Easy peasy. Actually, not yet. Let's chop down some more trees real quick. Definitely gives you the uncle vibes. He is a younger... He's younger than grandma, but older than Tara. Yeah. A lot older. If anything, he's like in between Grandma and, uh, and Tara, age-wise. Go. You gain much, if anything, over just selling all the components. Have a good one, Crazy Cajun. Thank you for hanging out with us. I appreciate that. Yeah. Wasn't Grandma trying to set up you up with Thomas in the beginning or at least imply a possible connection? I don't know. I don't remember. Do not remember. Am I ready? I'm not sure. Whoa, what is that music popping off? It does rain a lot in this game, doesn't it? Well, it is kind of like an island, right? So. Hello. Kitty cat. Here, kitty kitty. <clears throat> oh, did we level up our, our hearts on that cat? I love how the chickens stay inside, too. When it's, uh... When it's raining, they're like, nah, we ain't going out there. <laughs> There's no way you're going to be catching me out there. All right, so $1,500 is what we need, but we've spent already quite a bit on building those new uh, tools. So we're going to need around $1,000 to bring back. To bring back. We have some beeswax that we can sell. Maybe some pearls we can sell as well. Pearls don't really give that much, unfortunately. Hello, Francis. Why are you not at work either today? I used to have a rabbit who loved sitting in the rain. He was such a weirdo, but then he did have brain damage. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like visiting Amira's office. Even when I'm not sick, she has such a warm presence. Talking to her is like drinking a perfect cup of tea. Uh, Wesley, I think she is a, uh, I think she's playing for one side and one side only. I don't think she's playing both sides. I, maybe, I don't know. I think she's playing on one side, though. Hello, Kim. Oh, Kim's got a request. 
Parker told me you're the one to thank for the bridge to the mountain pass being open again. I am. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Oh, it was nothing. Ah, oh, the hot springs are so restorative. Oh, that's you know, what they are. They are hot springs. I used to springs. go to the onsen all the time with my grandma when we would go visit her in Japan. Well, until I turned 11 or so, then I just felt out of place. Oh, it'd be so nice to have an onsen here with private stalls so everyone can take in the waters while feeling safe and comfortable. We just need some wood. Yo! And stones. You need my help to build the onsen, Kim? Only if it's no trouble. Are we gonna build, like, a bathhouse? Oh, wonderful. Dara, be honest. Do you think Lena dislikes me? No. What? No. Did she say something? She's just so reserved. I've lived here for a few seasons, and I feel like I hardly know her. There's some part of herself that she's just not sharing. Hmm. Now we just need to definitely go get some more wood. Uh, Lena. I got some dyed... No, I don't have any dyed cloth. It seems we have a new neighbor. I have to go get my dyed I cloth. I saw Cameron on his way to visit her, hoping to convert a new acolyte, I presume. I'm sorry. That wasn't very nice of me. I'm sure he was just being neighborly. <laughs> I don't blame you, Lena. I do not blame you. We'll sell you a coconut, though. Thank you. Hey, Kai. Kai, I got some beeswax for you. Uh, no, I do not. And I will not sell you my... I don't think I'll sell you my cloth. I should probably go up and get, grab that purple cloth real quick. Then we'll go to... Well, we don't really need to go to Parker. We just need to make some money is all. And then get that uh, garden hatch running. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Grab that. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. So wait, cloth or what is this? Silk? What do we need for silk? Silk thread. I see. That takes three days. Okay. That's almost done. All right. Let's go ahead and get some wood then. While we're here. So that we can give it to Kim. Can you speak with uh, Grandma Hazel at the cemetery? Well, I will tell you. We have not been to the cemetery since her passing. I, want to s I wonder if it's different or anything like that. Hey, John. John says, just stop by to say hi. All right, very well. Hello, John. How you doing? Okay, so we got the wood. Let's go finish that off. <laughs> All right, Kim. We can make this onsen. Onsen. Right, onsen. Do you have the materials for the onsen yet? I do. Yep, here you go. All in that tiny Great. little bag. I'll get to work on it right away. Once it's done, I'm gonna put a tip jar outside so everyone can contribute to its maintenance. And I think it's best if we all stick to one visit per day so that everyone can have a chance to enjoy the onsen. Those are great ideas. I can't wait to try this onsen out. Cool. Sounds good to me. All right, anything else we can go and do? Let's go in here. Hey, Sophia. <clears throat> Vanessa was in charge of the summer festival last year. It was very classy and understated. That sounds festive. <laughs> Not at all. At least it rained and we didn't have to feel guilty about leaving early. This is not related to anything, but how many of you guys know the nines on your fingers trick for multiplying by nine? I am pushing 40 and I just now just now learning this magic. I am curious about the nines. I do not know about the nines. The nines trick? No matter how many times I dust off Angus's clothes, he always gets them covered in flour and breadcrumbs again. But I don't mind. I love fussing over him. And he loves to be fussed over.
So, like, if you multiply by four, you put down your fourth finger. Which, how do you know which one's your fourth finger? I guess A finger, right? To make four. Four. Or four. Five. Nine. Four. Five. Forty-five. That doesn't make sense. I, <laughs> that's not what that is. I did that totally wrong. <laughs> Hold up 10 fingers, put down, put down the finger you want to multiply by nine. For example, nine times six, you would put down your sixth finger. The number of fingers before the one you put down is the first digit of the number. The number after is the... That's crazy. I had no idea about that. There we go. Got our lemonade back. See if we can go make some sugar, yeah? Do we make sugar in the kitchen? Is that where we make sugar? I hope so. See if there's a possible cutscene in there. Hopefully we make sugar by the kitchen, because if not, I'm not entirely sure how to make sugar. But if we made flour in the kitchen, then I think sugar should be in there. Can we make sunflower seeds? Is that a possibility? Ah, yes, right there. It's not all the way there, but it's there. How much time does this have? One day left? Okay, very good. One day left on that sugar cane. I'll do some re YouTube research later. Oh. Start from one end. It's just... Do they teach that in school? Is that what they teach in school now? I don't understand the new, uh, the new schooling, the new academic. What's it called? Uh, core? Is that what it's called? Core? Or something, rather? Holy crap. That gives you a lot of energy. Core, the core academic or something, or core? Common core, yeah, common core. I don't understand common core. always worth transform all the sugarcane into sugar it has no other use so sugarcane is just for sugar only right nothing else oops that's not what i wanted to do mint nice we got some mint oh a couple shovels i don't know i went to school ages ago I got it, but nine is the only table I have memorized. What about ten? You have ten table memorized. Yeah? <laughs> you get the ten table memorized, no? And the twos, right? And the twos? Ah, uh, hi. Oh, she has a quest. She wants silk. Aha. Uh -huh. There you are. I heard you might have a loom in your barn. I, I do. Might. What do you need? The silk parachutes I packed for my radio songs got destroyed by a bunch of bloody moths. I've got plenty of helium for my balloons, but no way to get the hygrometer safely back to land. 
I understood like half the words in that sentence. I'm right there with Can you. Can you make me some silk fabric? I met a merchant who said he sets up a stolen town with items from off island. Maybe he has some silk thread? Oh, you mean Kai? He might have that. Oh, so you'll help me. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my god, she could talk and talk and talk and I had no idea what she's saying, but I'll listen. I'll listen. Do you know what Cameron said he was craving the other day? Avocado mash. I literally cannot think of a food that has less flavor. One of these days I'm going to make him a proper curry. When Danielle comes home tonight, this evening, I'm going to tell her, I'm going to say, uh, would you try an accent for me? Because I'm just experimenting with something. <laughs> I had I was old. I had to ask my wife, my wife, how old I was after my birthday. <laughs> That's the best kind of role play, baby. <laughs> Talk British to me. <laughs> oh god. Oh, hang on a sec. This fish. I want some of that. I'm oh, I don't have any bait. Gosh darn it. I will give you your, your salmon sooner or later there, kitty cat. I agree with give avocado is so bland to me. I, I like guacamole. Now, I could eat avocado like it's an apple. Like, I can eat just an old, whole avocado, nothing else. I think it's good. But I mean, let's be honest here. Guacamole, guacamole is. Should I go to bed? Guacamole is pretty bomb. But over here in California, I mean, we put avocado on everything. Mm. That's just what we do. That's why we eat them like apples. Mm. I can eat avocado like an apple too. Oh yeah, see right there, right there. That's it. Yay, we got our sugar. I just ate some spread on something. Exactly. Bagel, toast, whatever you want to do. Right? Bagel, toast, whatever you want. Oh, it rained, so we don't have to worry about watering. Good. There's something in that one? Yeah, there's something in that one. We should be able to sell our dice today now. <clears throat> there we go. You get like a nice bagel. I mean, cream cheese bagel with the all with the everything seasoning is one thing. But like some uh, bagel. There's a lot of bagel shops where I live. There's a lot of good bagel shops too. I'm highly allergic to avocados. Oh, that is like terrible. That's terrible. You're missing out. Missing out. Give me that. Give me that. That's still going, right? Two more days. Got it. Oh, we need to get some silk thread. I'm over here in the south southeast. I barely see avocado if it's if it isn't uh, guacamole. You can make some bomb guacamole though. Why do you always sit here, Wesley? You seem like you're waiting for something. That Francis is such a natty dresser. I want to ask him where he shops, but um. Francis is chill. I'm sure he'd take it as a compliment. Besides, you've got a great sense of style, too. He seems socially awkward. Interesting. I think it's because he, he he's different with the fang teeth and everything, yeah? Hey, Damon. Hey, that new meteorologist is kind of cute, yeah? You stop! Hey! Absolutely not! What is up with everybody? 
Everybody needs to calm down and shut the hell up. Okay? All right. Him too? How many people do I got to compete with? Hey, Kai. I was hoping you might have something that the new meteorologist needs. Oh, right. I met her. She's like really into tea. Don't uh -huh. start, Kai. Do you have any silk thread? Ah, I've got something better. Silk worms. Ew. Nah, they're dope. You just gotta feed them mulberry leaves every day and on day 10, ta-da, my friend. <laughs> totally organic silk. But you gotta build these little buddies a box first. Then they'll be like, uh, totally chill. Oh, shoot. Buy silkworms and mulberry seeding from Kai to make your own silk thread. Very cool. So that is a silkworm box and mulberry seedling that we need to get. Very cool. Try avocado cheese and alfalfa sprout sandwich. That sounds amazing, actually. My childhood home has an avocado tree. I've been eating avocado since, uh, uh, since very, very young, uh, very young. I love it so much. Oh, that sounds so good. Fresh avocados all the time. Hey, Akai. You making anything for the summer festival? <laughs> no way. Which is better for everyone, trust me. Damon had to put a sign above his stove that says, Kai, don't walk away if the burner is lit. Silkworm box can now be constructed. That is something we need to look into now. Very well. You find out why he's sitting there all the time. My mom started me on onion bagels with peanut butter. Never were big avocado fans. They aren't super common here. I do like, um, even, well, I, I guess I would say I've never really had a lot of bagels and peanut butter, but a lot of bagels and cream cheese, like the onion bagel with some cream cheese, spread it on it. In my house, we eat a lot of guacamole or just avocado. Oh, send me, let me, let me, let me, let me come up to your door and knock on it politely and say do you have any avocado and do you have any guacamole to find out why he's socially awkward later too my heart is broken my crush likes someone else <laughs> i can't wait for you to progress a little further in the summer <laughs> Right, let's see here um silkworm box we need a silkworm and then the wood okay so just one not multiple ones just one okay that's that's good to know then very well let's go to lena sell our cloth to lena oh yeah sugar for the kids thank god thank you for reminding me sugar for the kids thank you for reminding me good call good call Good call. Y'all are batting an eyelash at onions and peanut butter, but my cheesy pie is offensive. Now, wait a sec. Onion bagel is different. That is different. You don't even taste the onion flavor in onion bagels. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's a bread. That's practically a bread with peanut butter on it. Have you ever had potato bread? Potato and you would be like potato bread and, and peanut butter. That's weird. No, no, no. It's not weird. Here's the wooden sugar you asked for. You're the best. Thank you, Tara. You should come back to the town square on weekends. You can try our recipe. Oh, I look forward to it. We got to get started right away. We can't waste any more summer. Visit the lemonade stand on a Saturday or Sunday. Sick. Can I give you a chocolate cu cupcake? Because I know this is one of your favorite dishes. He loves it. She's my favorite. Ooh. Will you tell my mom if I eat this all right now? Because I'm not supposed to. What? I, I, I have to... Ah, Cameron. I gotta talk to you every once in a while. 
The summer festival seems fun and all, but doesn't it also seem like old-fashioned superstition? What's the harm in that? Well, after Otto's town hall meeting in the spring, we might want to cut down on superstitions. But that's just two cents from the newish guy. You're actually the most boring person here. Giva didn't seem to believe me when I said I thought our weather seemed normal to me. But I've lived here my whole life. I guess maybe I don't know what normal is like. Potato bread with walnuts? Never had that, I will say. Cinnamon and raisin bagel toast with so much butter is amazing. I absolutely agree. My grandma used to do that for us. She did. She absolutely did. Do I, do I keep saying Lena? Don't. Wait. I keep saying Lena, don't. I keep saying Lena to sell the uh, cloth. I don't want to sell Lena. I want to sell it. Sell the cloth to Kai, correct? Correct? I'm holding on to my uh, tomatoes, though. I could sell a lot of sugar. Oh, look it. She's in here. Give a. I was talking to Juliet, and she seemed so sad to be going back to school soon. That's a pity. I always loved school when I was growing up. Bread, toast, butter, cinnamon, sugar. There you go. That's all you need. Kai is closed today, of course. Kai, do you open tomorrow on a Thursday? You're closed on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Thank you, Kai. It's so hot that everyone is ordering milkshakes. I take pride in making them the old-fashioned way with hand-scooped ice cream, but... Ow, my right bicep is really sore. <laughs> Giacomo used to say I could beat him at arm wrestling in the summer. Look at that beef wellington. I've always wanted to try a beef wellington. I've never tried a beef wellington before. Thomas said Lena, didn't he? Yeah, he did say Lena. Oh, God. Cotton? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see you. I always am, of course. But I could really use your help. My clinic is out of cotton. Again. Any chance you're growing any cotton on your farm? Four bunches should keep me stocked up. Sure, but it might take me a few days. Ugh, thanks. Very well. Or cotton, indeed. Hang on a sec. Let's talk to Amira. Damon posted a sign in his bar that said, Save water, drink beer. I made him take it down. Dehydration is no laughing matter. Okay. I actually used to know people that did have banana mayonnaise sandwiches. Uh, I'll, I'll be real with you. I'll be straightforward. I, 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 I don't know how. That's one I can't get behind either. Mayonnaise and banana sandwiches. I'm never quite sure what to do with myself when school's out. Plan Otto's taxes, organize the closets again, move ahead on that kitchen renovation. You could take a real break, just like your students. Oh no, I'd be terribly bored. We're gonna sell some pearls too. Thanks to all the chocolate talk earlier, I'm eating fudge brownies still warm from the oven. Very jealous right Natalia here. Natalia lets me use her Very jealous. when I need to weld metal pieces together. But it gets so hot in there. How does she deal with it? Is she some blacksmithing deity? That's what she should put on her dating profile. Can withstand the inside of a volcano. Ah, we have a bunch of topaz too. Bunch of topaz. We're getting closer and closer to 1500. Hey, Violet. I hear the music bumping. Does that mean Danielle just pulled into the driveway? There's a possibility. I didn't want to be a florist at first. I wanted to work at a boutique in the city or something. But summer days remind me, hey, this isn't so bad. I get all the best parts of nature without stepping into the sauna that is the outdoors. Must be nice. My dad eats raw onion, cheese, and peanut butter sandwiches. What the frick? Hey, now everybody's losing their freaking minds and losing their control now. 
I thought a new rancher would be busy, but Marty sure seems to have time to spare. He hangs out in front of my croissant display and snaps so many photos. Says they do well on social. I can't argue with that. Hey, I haven't talked to you in a little bit there, Angus. One good part of the summer festival? The twins love it. Candy, summer vacation, adults will play games with them. <laughs> they can't wait, though. Uh, yeah. I always have to make sure they don't stick anything explosive in the bonfire. Why would the children stick anything explosive in the bonfire? That's interesting. Why would you stick anything explosive in the bonfire? Unless he's referring to fireworks. And if he's referring to fireworks, then what happens here in the United States and probably other places, but at least very well known in the United States during the summertime, the 4th of July... Are you suggesting that this town celebrates the 4th of July in summer or is it just, am I just reaching too far? I might be reaching too far there. If you had to choose between apple pie, cheese on apple pie or mayonnaise and banana sandwich, which one would I choose? Simple. I would choose the apple pie with cheese on it. That, that would have to be a choice I would have to choose. That, that would be that. We're going to go see the coven. Grilled banana wrapped in bacon. Never heard that one. Never heard that one either. <laughs> so crazy. There's some crazy snacks going on. Peanut butter and syrup sandwiches are the best. Very unhealthy, but very good is peanut butter syrup sandwiches with a tall glass of Kool-Aid. Please, you can sign me up right away. What's my favorite Kool-Aid? I mean, cherry. Cherry is, is probably my favorite Kool-Aid. That's a classic, right? Has to be. I've been reading this journal. It belonged to Grandma, and... Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I know Hazel took the journal in for rebinding. I'm glad that it's safely back in your hands. There are entries that mention the fairies. Does... Does Fairhaven have fairies? You still have much to learn about the magic on this island. But before I tell you more about that, you must prove that you understand us. This is definitely Lena. Coven, speak to the Farseer Witch. He will explain. Just her gestures and her movement and her, like, speech. That's Lena. That has to be Lena. Speak to the Farseer about which identities? Is that what that said? Oh, look at this. Your grand wasn't a fan of our masks, but rules are rules. You've got to earn our trust before we can reveal who we really are. Unless you think you can guess my name. Rumpelstiltskin? No! Don't be calling the faithful unless you mean it now. You're to complete a test. Each member of the coven will ask you for a magical item. Oh, I love this. You're to bring it to them. Sounds easy enough. During the day, in town, if you give it to the right person, we'll say so. Ah! Oh. But what if I give it to the wrong person? <laughs> Won't Cameron freak out if I give him some magic doodad? Don't worry. Civilians can't read incantations. It just looks like a blank piece of paper to them. Oh, I like this. Do the first task. It has to do with time. Oh, time travel? How far back can I go? You're not ready for that yet, novice. But you can try pausing time for a moment to give you long enough to finish what you've got to do. It will only work while you're in the place you read this spell. Once you leave that space, time will resume its course. Here's what you need to write the spell. Come to me during the day when you've finished it. Oh, this is cool. I love this. This is really cool. Uh, you all right, Bella? Uh, this is, I like this. I like this. Bring it to, like, ah, this is cool. Make a freeze time incantation as part of your quest to unlock the Farseer's identity. 
can now be crafted. We should update the covet offerings from just milk and honey, you know? It's just not very 21st century. Maybe we should try offering hoverboards or a gamer chair. That's Kai, right? That, that has to be Kai. Kai or Damon. Oh, this is getting spicy indeed. I like it. Just pretend the mayo is whipped cream makes the banana mayo sandwiches not sound so bad. That is... That is... I, pretend? My tongue doesn't pretend. Peanut butter and mac and cheese? What the heck are you talking about? Y'all are getting some protein and carbs in you, aren't you? Some of y'all are defiling peanut butter. <laughs> I don't think I could pretend that one. <laughs> okay, let's see what it takes to make this. Grab that. Thank you. Let's see. Freeze time. Oh, well, there you go. You just need honeycomb for that. Freeze time. I wonder if I could, like, take it back to him. So, wait. Hang on a sec. So, uh, give the freeze time incantation to the farseer during the daytime. Okay, so now I have to give this during the daytime. I believe it's Shelby. That's who the farseer is. It's Shelby. So, all I have to do is give that to Shelby during the daytime. I should, honestly, think about possibly... Making another speed boost as well. And putting a boost harvest on that. There we go. As well. Everything good in here? Yep. I can't get over how mushy that would be. The taste wouldn't be bad, but the mush of the banana and the mayo just sounds horrible. <laughs> the texture, I guess, right? Texture. I want to see what this is about. I thought me eating Doritos and chocolate was weird. Ooh, no. That reminds me. Very good pick-me-up snack. Nacho cheese Doritos. Has to be nacho cheese. Nacho cheese Doritos. Dip it in some sour cream, baby. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking. Doritos and sour cream. Peanut butter on toast is good. Peanut butter and toast is good. That's perfect now that we got that cotton. Absolutely perfect. That worked out. I don't want to go... Uh, we'll go... Corn. I'm still trying to convince my boyfriend to try it, but he he won't. Sadness, he has been he has has been sadness has been falling upon me. <laughs> Let's go tomatoes again. The texture, my brain's dead tired. I keep falling asleep while doing homework. Thanks for understanding how to speak tired elite or sorry, tired Ellie language. I just called Ellie. Elite. Elite Ellie. I was almost at Elite Ellie. <laughs> Jalapeno Doritos in guacamole is not bad either. Now that sounds good to me. But Jalapeno Doritos. I had no idea there was Jalapeno Doritos. That sounds new to me. Okay, who is this for? This is for Amira. Got it. I'm going to get Shelby right now. I'm going to hit him with this. The time for walking. I'll accept my new name. <laughs> Never under underestimate the crazy food combos a pregnant woman can come up with. Facts. I've heard some crazy, crazy stories with pregnant women involving pickles. I will say that. I, I, none of you. I will give it to... Oh, there's a... Give a... Give a... Amira. Cotton. Uh, 
it's pronounced it jalapeno 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 doritos are good i've never heard of this thank you so much i can let the kids have their bikes and skateboards back now wait you actually did confiscate them they listened to you people always do what i tell them to do is that strange absolutely anyway, strange you're crazy here's something for your efforts thanks thank you that's a very specific number 228 dollars I like how Giva's actually like enjoying her time in the in the in the diner. One thing I love about the states, all the diners. Though Sophia's has the best food by a long shot. There was a diner I went to all the time in grad school. I adored it, but I was there for the tea and the ambiance. Definitely not the food. The pickles and chocolate ice cream. The pickles and chocolate ice cream. I think I've heard some, maybe not chocolate ice, but I've definitely heard some pickles and, and ice cream uh, stories. Jalapeno Cheetos? I've never heard of that either. What color is these bags? Jalapeno Doritos. What color bag is that? And Cheetos? Don't, they don't make che uh, cheese puffs anymore or Cheeto puffs anymore, do they? Hi, Thomas. Enjoying town? Had business. Only reason to come to town. You going towards the woods? You ought to be careful. I spent a lot of time in those woods when I was a kid. I know them well. But it's easy to lose your way. There are others in those woods at night, and I don't know what their intentions are. Um, maybe they're fine. Nobody tells me what to do. Maybe they're fine. Thomas, I appreciate the warning. But how do you know the people in the woods at night are even trying to cause trouble? If they're not up to anything, then why wear masks? A logging operation tried moving to the island once, but Lena's dad and my dad organized the town folks to fight them off. Now those woods what? ought to be left in peace, in honor of my dad and hers too. Not that he remembers much these days. I'll be careful. That's all I ask. Okay. Green bag for the jalapeno Doritos. Maybe I have seen them then. And I just didn't know they were like jalapenos. Maybe I just assumed they were like some kind of spicy so-and-so thing thing on my bob, right? Another another thing I'm taking here as well. Shelby is wearing a red trench coat. The farseer wears a red robe. You are my man. I know it. You are it. Am I sure this is the farseer witch? I'll have to make another incantation and explain myself if I'm wrong. Yes, I'm sure. Here you go, Shelby. That's fine. You keep it. You'll need it. So I passed? You're always gonna pass. Now, go on. Don't want folks getting too curious. Got you. I got you. Awesome. Yes. Heard there's a new rancher in town. Don't think he knows much about ranching, though. How do you know that? Cause one of his chicks wandered all the way over here the other day. Lucky it wasn't picked off by a cat. <laughs> I love pickles on hot dogs. Now pickles on hot dogs, I could probably like, I could probably get behind that. I do like pickles. I am a fan of the pickles. Okay, honey. Okay. No. Possibly. Okay. We have the 1500. Parker is here. We can do it. We just need the wood and the iron. I, could I guess we're going to need a little bit more money. For gardening, but you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. What about yeah. van camps? You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. We got it. Van camps, hot fries, and sour cream. What is van camps? I don't know what van camps is. Um, but like hot fries, like those uh cheese fries, like the chip fries, is that what you're talking about? And sour cream, yeah, you could probably even get behind that too. I wonder what sour cream and hot Cheetos would taste like. It's a brand, by the way. Hello, Amanda. I'll never understand 
how people finish the the game so quickly by day two or three we're done and i keep playing and i'm still in the first mission then again i fish a lot i know some people burn through these games sometimes i'm like that i am pretty impressed i thought i played a lot of games but i think what happens is i i i, I think i talk more than i actually play the game <laughs> let's be honest right A little bit more wood. I grew up eating mustard and pickle relish on hot dogs. It was a culture shock when we moved uh, we moved south and they put chili and coleslaw on hot dogs. Finally. Pickles and relish on hot dogs is very good. I am a fan. Uh, but I'm also a fan of chili dogs too. Coleslaw, I'm not a big fan of. I'm not a big coleslaw kind of guy. I like chili dogs, but I also like my hot dog bun with mayonnaise inside. And then the chili on the outside with some onions. Yeah, uh, diced onions. That's where I'm at. Coleslaw hot dogs are heavenly food. Oh my lord. I think the only coleslaw I like, and it's weird, it's it's super weird. I think the only coleslaw I like is like KFC. <laughs> KFC coleslaw. 60 hours in and just hit first winter. Holy crap. Coleslaw on a burger is amazing. I will say I've never tried that. I'm gonna resell this to her. Fat the meat. rancher keeps staring at me. Like, he's clocked me, but he does not know what time it is. I hate it when people do that. Here we go. Sell. Might as well sell this too. Because we're not using them immediately right now. And let's go get some iron. And then we'll build this coop. I usually pace myself when I play games because it's no fun to rush through them. Yeah, and... Oh, damn it. Thursday? Really? Really? Thursday? Um, Some people were finding that issue when we were streaming Slime Rancher, too, is, like, people already beat the game super, super fast, and they're like, dang it. <laughs> and I dang it. Since the weather's gotten so warm... Cameron held our last Sunday meeting on the beach. I don't see why the rest of the town doesn't come. You get to sit by the ocean with your friends. Okay. I'm going to go to the coven. KFC coal is my fave too. All the other tastes uh, too much like mayonnaise. I've never had Popeye's. Does Popeye's have coleslaw? I've never had Popeye's coleslaw. KFC slaw is fire. I'm doing everything through. Like, I talk to everyone every day. Hit up the coven every night. I have over 1,700 hours into a garden pause and still haven't ran out of stuff to do. Holy crap. Like a blessing. Let's see if Shelby or the Farseer has anything to say about what transpired today. Have you ever tried kimichi? It's an Asian coleslaw. I might have and not known what it was um, when I had it. But I think I have. Like whenever I've gone like out to a Japanese restaurant. I just never knew the name of it. Probably. So honey still, right? Honey and milk. So... I hear you're the one who welcomed the meteorologist to town, Tara. Yeah, I am. Otto Mullen forced me for the job. But Giva seems nice, so I didn't mind. She may be nice, but her presence here could be dangerous. She came here to look into Fairhaven's weather patterns. We caused those weather patterns. Uh, oh, okay. Um, she was asking about weather. She 
did ask if I knew anything that would explain the weather anomalies. That's exactly what I'm worried about. Uh -oh. If she's a competent meteorologist, she'll dig far enough into the island's weather that she just might find us at the center. We should all keep an eye on her discoveries. Oh, wait. Interesting. No. no. I, I don't think that's what Grandma would have wanted. Didn't she warn us against this exact attitude? Even if Giva does uncover something that points to us, that isn't necessarily bad. Maybe she's trustworthy. I wish I agreed with you, but as witches, we can never be too careful. We're not only responsible for our own safety, but the safety of the entire island, even the parts beyond the veil. So what if I marry her? Will she, uh, will she be protected? <laughs> Try to not blow off any arms or legs while trying out new spells. It's harder to stay in secret society that way. That's Damon. That has to be Damon, not Kai. That's Damon. This is, uh, this is Violet, I think. I mean, her mask, this mask almost looks floral. The Farseer tells me that you've done well. Let's see if your observation and intuition is as strong with me. What will it be then? Do you want a potion that will turn the mare into a frog? <laughs> Nothing that advanced yet. See, it's the... Oh, uh, maybe, I don't know, I'm second guessing. Me. I want a bottle of my favorite summer drink, Honey Mint Cooler. It's so refreshing on a hot day. You have a beehive, yes? Back home, we make a simple syrup with honey and mint. But brewing it in your distillery gives it an extra kick. If you are successful in completing my task, Perhaps more witches will be willing to reveal themselves. This is not Violet. That is not Violet. Honey mint cooler can now be crafted in the distillery. Very much so. Oh, that's terrible news, Lexi. I am so sorry to hear that. So sorry for your best friend. Can't imagine. She probably needs somebody right now. Around here, there's a double cheeseburger that has a Thousand Island ketchup, pickle, coleslaw, and tomato. It's called a ranch burger. Oh, dude. Like, Thousand Island is, like, another California thing. Over here, Cal like, Thousand Island on burgers, or that's just called California burgers. <laughs> Come here, and you'll get a Thousand Island on everything. Just like avocado. Avocado and Thousand Island. Not there. Not there. Not there. Um. Wait a sec. Where would I? Wait. Okay. Hang on. Time out. Tee it up. Here. Here. Honey. Black tea. Lemon. Where the heck do I get black tea? And then I'm assuming lemon from a lemon tree? Interesting. Sardines? Yes. Sea bass? Yes. Kick his ass, sea bass. Flounder? Might as well. You're thinking of the one with the actual flower patterns on the on the mask for Violet? The alkaloid, I think? Okay, yeah, I think I might have got it mixed up. Oh, there we go. Oh, honey mint cooler is what I was looking for. Oh, easy. Two days? Oh, my lord. Got it. Yeah, got it. <laughs> now, tomorrow, I'll be able to bring in the garden patch, finally. This is going to be built. Yeah, we're going to build that. Because we have the money... Friday, he's gonna be open. It's gonna be great. And all of that.
I'll look at her. But ladies and gentlemen, that will do it in today's stream of wildflowers. If you enjoyed today's stream of wildflowers, make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed your time here. I do appreciate you hanging out with me today. You did. Uh, I, 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 we talked about a lot of stuff today. I, did, I do appreciate it. No problem. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing two more streams. Uh, tomorrow, Rising Star makes an appearance on the live stream. And King of Retail. We're going to be playing King of Retail at noon. And by the way, we are going to be giving away a copy of King of Retail tomorrow. So, if you do not own King of Retail and you are interested in King of Retail and you possibly want to win a copy of King of Retail, make sure to show up in tomorrow's King of Retail stream because I will be giving away towards the end of the stream. Other than that, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you guys here today. I want to say a special thank you to Yags Gaming for becoming a member today. Uh, Rob, thank you for the super chat. Danielle Smith, thank you for the super chat. And Darren, thank you for the super chat. Thank you all. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys very, very soon in tomorrow's. Uh, if you would like, I would love it. If you follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and all the good stuff and all the social medias and all that. And I will uh, talk to you all tomorrow. All right? So y'all have a good rest of your night. And do as always, take care. <laughs>